Go. Welcome to the Java Tears podcast. WrestleMania Hangover Week, episode 14. Episode 14, the Gerald Green episode. Mr. took a year off from basketball, came back, dunking on dudes, team back at them, three point out of nowhere. Who's Steph Curry to Gerald Green, baby? Shout out to you. Boss. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm Evie filling in for Janelle from HR, who is making her way back from NOLA. Hustling, called Cassidy of the wrestling world. I yeah. see you out there, boo. While she's hustling, making her way back, I have with me Alex from Eye, Eye Chokes. Eye Pokes. Eye Pokes and Head Chokes. AKA the Goya and Grits podcast. <laughs> <laughs> also with me, I have Sir Wilkins and Mr. Black. AKA. AKA what? AKA what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> That's it? You just stopped. This is a freestyle one. AKA stop. You're done. You're done. No, no, I got it. I got no, it. The moment's yeah. over. The moment's over. He fucked up the promo. He fucked it up. He fucked it up. All right, so let's jump into it. The oh my god moment of the week. Brock wanted smoke with Vince. First reported by at Russell Volts, the Twitter account. There was a verbal altercation between Lesnar and Vince McMahon backstage after the match. Lesnar was upset. Although we still don't know what it, don't know why exactly what happened. Lesnar reported uh, it was reported that Lesnar just went off on Vince. Basically, point blank, Lesnar probably didn't like the way the match went. He doesn't like how things are going, and he's crying like a big baby when he's supposedly is supposed to go back to UFC. So, what's your take on that? Mm. Who wants to take that? I'll take it first. First of all, this is semi-work. I believe anything that's put out there now is strictly Vince in the making, you know, Probably 40 laws of power, um, get the sheep going. And we all fucking sheeps to Vince. You know why it's kind of a work? Um, based on what happened with Conor McGregor and the UFC, you need to create some more smoke and mirrors and shit. Yeah. Because like the whole UFC thing, felt a little WWE-ish to me, and maybe kind of just took it too far, so maybe this is kind of like somewhere in between that same type of thing. When you throw the universal title belt either at the wall next to Vince or at Vince and you miss, like, it makes it seem like this is, it, it has to be this some is type of work. work, 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 work. Because... Like Rihanna? Yes, <laughs> like Rihanna. What's so sticking in there? We are in the reality era. Yeah, that's what yeah. the place says all the time. Course. And they got made this shit look real. Why was Brock mad? Why is he mad? But then he resigns a contract extension the next day. Supposedly, it was just a one match extension, though. I don't Supposedly. Give I don't give for a the fuck. one out. I've been saying this for years. With Brock in WWE, they make more money. Dana White and Vince McMahon are having cocktails every weekend, yeah. talking shit together, sure. and figuring out how to work together. I mean, he was there. He was at the match. Yeah. There's four chicks, former UFC fighters, yep. on the roster. Yep. Sure. In developmental, in NXT, and on the main uh, roster. Main. Yep. Okay. And then, and then you have Brock Lesnar. This is all fucking work. Connor is the next person to be WWE. I guarantee. I mean, for sure. In a year and a half. I mean, I mean the way that you. I say two. Two years. Probably yeah. two. But two the way years. that how you describe it, how that whole UFC thing happened. When I first watched it, I was like, okay, this could be real, whatever, whatever. But since you, since, since I saw Dana White at the pay per view, that's, that's what makes so it. So I was so just like, maybe this is somewhat of a work, and Conor McGregor took it, took it too far. far. Yeah, that's because what it he was. had a little too much in the system. But like I said in previous podcasts, you know, Negro Diamonds predicted this. See, I see the future like Cleo. Didn't I say this? Rock was going to win the Universal title, bring to UFC for a cross promotion. See? All that is just like, Y'all live too much in the real world. I live in Nico Diamonds. I see the stars from miles away. The universe. Well, I said that. I've been saying that. Oh, you did it? Yes, I did. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, he no. has. Yes, I have. He I has put it on Facebook. He, he kind of Facebook, did. Twitter, and yeah. Instagram. Yes, I put it on there. Doesn't matter. Nico Diamonds. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. Motherfucker, I, I'm woke as fuck now. No, no, no. Third, no. I, I, as a lady, as a your third, I've been like this. Like, been no, because there's a need to. There's a need to open all the time. Yo, how you went to nine thousand? You like, I won right now. I don't need to be at nine thousand every time. 
All I'm saying is you been slack on your Mac and dolls. No, no, words. no. Listen, this is all work. It is work, but my but like my thing is this. What's gonna happen from there? Like, what kind of story will come out of this? Because we do forget Bobby Lashley's in WWE. And this rumor has it like they try to make an angle with him and Bobby Lashley go against each other at SummerSlam. Who, Brock? Yeah, this yeah. some kind of rumor. So, like, so you don't think that he's gonna have a UFC match and Bobby Lashley be in the crowd? You do forget that Bobby Lashley is also currently um, is currently not in UFC, but isn't he Bellator? He Bellator, Bellator yeah. so he does he, um, it makes martial arts. So Let's, it can be a cross I mean, motion. This is the thing. Motion. Before Brock Lesnar, when he came back the last time, before mm-hmm. this time, he had a deal with the UFC at the same time. He fought. He took time off to go fight in the UFC at the same time. Yeah, I remember. I remember. WWE. I remember. After he got dope so that's up, not out of he the. He fought a loophole because he was a yeah. Yeah, it's not out of the. How question. many times has Brock left and come back? Plus like, the other thing. He put Brock at the end of the day is a money maker. He, he is. A money maker. He is, and he negotiates his contracts very well. Obviously. Extreme he's the highest. Well. He's the highest paid one. Even is Roman he? Reigns no, said no, 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 he no. is the highest paid. No, there's one. somebody else above him now. Forrest put on a list. Who? In no, terms you're of right. WWE stars. He's a top. You're right. Runner. I think it's a tech. No, he's the top. It's him and Cena. Yeah, yeah him and Cena. Go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cena. Yeah. But overall, though, this is what I gotta agree with you. This was one hell of a work. Let's see what this could like produce. Yeah, but Shane apparently got in Brock's face too backstage. Oh, new new tale. But then again, Shane is a hothead. Shane is so a like hothead. you see, I'm about to jump off. Because he's a hothead because he's part of the family. Exactly. Yeah, he's he's part part yo, come on, he's yo, part come on, part part of face life. though. We got smoke. That's it. No, this is storyline. Oh, like the my dad. The, the, my the dad. only reason. I'm gonna jump into this. Remember when Roman Reigns came after it, came out the Vince in the back? Yeah, that and Shane was there. Like the yeah, that, 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 that kind of spoiled it a little bit. I was like, come on, Shane. It's, it, it, it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Overall, though, I'm just ex- I'm more excited as the drama around Brock than actually Brock in the ring. So Brock in the ring is he needs to go away for a while at this yeah. point. Yeah, he's too. The scared. whole universe. He needs to start is, working out some legs because the them chicken whole universe legs is like kind of over that. Because like honestly speaking, if it was Roman Reigns versus anybody else at WrestleMania, probably would have worked. You at WrestleMania? Yeah, I, was, I really was there. Um, there were this is boring chance after like the 10, 10 minute mark of that match. Um, and most was people, it boring? Most Live? people. Live, it was boring. I watched it again yesterday on my day off and everything, and um, it was actually relatively good. Yeah, watching. I thought it was good. It was a good match. It was a decent match. It was a good match. It had its spots. But when you're watching it live, you're just like... It's not a WrestleMania match. It's it's not. It's yeah. not a WrestleMania match. Uh, and it shouldn't have been the, the top, event. the main event. The so shit, I was telling him, the Shinsuke and AJ Styles should have been built better and been the main event. But it wasn't. To me, honestly speaking, like when you have the whole crowd focusing on beach balls other than the match and cheering and booing whenever like the beach balls went away and came back, that's that that's bad. Dirty Dick Leo, you have something? So Janelle from HR says Wow. Oh, he means her Wow. 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 Janelle from HR says, Hello, hi. So Janelle from HR said that it was live boring. It was boring live. And that uh, Bobby Lashley it sucks. <laughs> Unless she's here. Then Beach Ball Mania lives. Where's she's yeah. here? Beach Ball Mania. Maybe she's here. Like she's on the live. She's in the building? Yeah. No, I mean like she's. Like, like she's, she's tuning in. Live. She's tuning in. Obviously, she's tuning in. We're not here. 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 We're not recording. <laughs> I think Do you know she, for HR? I bet should I be here? Okay. Okay. Yes, girl, you're here. <laughs> so anyways. Okay, so there's there's a, something else that's been announced. It was announced on Twitter. Uh the it's a, basically a coffin match between Taker and Rusev. Why is why is Taker doing this? Although he retired, but you know This is boring! I mean, I mean This is boring! It this is. is boring! If this anything, is boring! If anything, it should have been a rematch for John Cena. That's no, it. I blame no, oh, yeah, no, no, no. I blame that yeah, wrestling fans who love Undertaker so much. Oh, I want Taker to come out. I, I never it. said that. I I he turn. was done last year. To me. I he was done last year. That's he was done. Just like y'all, that. y'all saying that, but me and him, y'all, y'all all on, on yeah. Taker's dick. Yeah. Now, everybody's on Taker's penis. Yeah. Everybody. 
body. So oh, take her. Oh, my God. You're experiencing Take it, Richard Media. Take it. And so happily, he squashed Cena. It was a, it was a squash match. That's basically what I said. I said it as a fucking squad of squash. I said it as a squad ass motherfucker. It was like a fool. I can't be that. Okay. Focus. Do I think that am I excited for this? For this match, no. no. Why are you finding Rusev in a coffin match? I feel like they're just giving Rusev his dream match. No, so, real talk, what I think it is, is they're gonna put Rusev over. No. Nah. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rusev threatened to leave. Mm. He wanted his release. When? Before? No, b- before he got, he got, he was put into that fucking, um, he was, he was. That, that European title match. Yeah. It, it, it's a continental. It's, no, US, yeah. sorry. No, US, US title match. I apologize. Is it US? Yeah, US, US title yeah. match. European doesn't even exist anymore. My bad. No. <laughs> Oops. Um, UK title. He was, okay. he was tossed into that match after he was like, yo, motherfuckers, release me. And I'm like, no, 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 Rusev Day is over. So we'll do something with you for WrestleMania. He should have won the fucking belt if that was the case. Now? And him and Jenna could have changed Do you understand the fucking pop that that would have generated? Yes. But WWE, Vince doesn't give a fuck. Now. But you give it to Jenna. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. The chase is beautiful. But then they fucked up on SmackDown Live by giving Randy Orton that number of attendant. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, so my thing is this. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let, let me finish. You put Rusev with Undertaker, the, le- the legend of, of the legend of fucking oh, WWE, yeah. the biggest legend of WWE. Okay. Now, Taker can put Rusev over because you know why? If he loses to him, if it's not, it's not a pay per view. It technically is. No, it, it's, they're it's billing not, it as a pay per view. It's a pay per view, but it's not a a pay per view pay per view, a main pay per view, and it's not WrestleMania. So he can take it out. But, mm. but, but what like, you? But my thing but is, you're like you have a 50 man Royal Rumble. Then you have seven titles it's a, being defended. It's a, it's a Royal Rumble. It's a major pay per view yeah. for them. Yes, but nobody people can take an L because not a main pay per view. It's not storyline built into. But it's it. a 50 man a battle. A, a what other person getting if they win? Championship. They just shot. win. Well, Maybe they just won. You don't know if they get a championship shot. Yeah, but it, they get put over. Somewhere or another. I'm all okay again. We all see what happened when we have these Royal Rumble battle, these special ones, and you get quote unquote put over. Naomi won two years in a row, and I didn't even know that. Two years in a row. She didn't win two years. I'm very no. sorry. Like she, she won, won, the, she won and the on SmackDown, they didn't make a big deal out of it. They didn't. Um Mojo Raleigh won. And you made a big deal about it. And you water. forgot yeah. until they mentioned a commentary on Sunday. So why are you having these stuff? That's what I'm saying. So Rusev can look good by being the Undertaker. I don't see it happening. I don't see it. No, I don't. I don't nah, B, I'm telling no, no, no. you. No, no, We understand what you're saying. Right. Yeah, I just don't see it happening. It's happening. gonna happen. Another, Third eye open. Third eye open. Another I'm six shots. Up. I'm another. charging up. I'm charging up. This okay. time, the six shots of Jameson is gonna be when you're wrong. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So. It's at 12 p.m., so I'm not drinking at 12 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You yes, know, at 12 p.m. on Friday. Oh, I don't know. I'm not Who the fuck is that wrong? People got jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be at work. Nah, I'll probably be uh, at work. I'll, 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 I'll be at work for real. Okay, so the Andre the Giant documentary. Did you guys watch it? Your thoughts? Is Andre the Giant still relevant? What's your take? Who wants to take this I'll first? I'll take this one. I probably might get. I'm not. Ex- I, I didn't grow up with Andre. I didn't grow up with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw Andre get slammed by Hogan, and then I didn't see him on TV for a while. I wasn't. We 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 was watching consistently. So, am I excited to look at the documentary? Not really, because I always hear a lot of stories about him. How he was a nice guy. You know, a lot of the um, urban legends about him. Like he's able to chug so much beer and not get drunk. It's kind of like, all right, they kind of oversaturated for me, and I won't, and like, I probably won't be checking it out. And people might say, oh, you got a true wrestling friend. I suck my dick. <laughs> Anyways, nevertheless, though. Why you always go to there, though? <laughs> he likes getting his song. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is this. I'm not gonna check it out. I'm, it's probably, HBO did it, it's probably well done. It was really well done. Uh, see, well done. It was really well done. But I'm done. not interested. What'd you think about it? I liked it mainly based on the fact that like it paints on the history of not only um, Andre the Giant, but everything around him, like the beginning of the 
um, Hulkamaniac shit and all the other things preceding. Like his his life as like a kid growing up and dealing with the gigantism and all that stuff, and then going into wrestling. He was like six nine when he was fourteen. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Six nine when he was fourteen, learning how to wrestle and shit. And like, how do you deal with that? Like, and like his mother was, I think no, it was his um. Yeah, like his mother was concerned, like, oh, like he's never gonna stop growing. Like it's it was insane, like how quickly he grew and whatnot. But um it was made a lot of stories, a lot of things, like um they had um the hoaxer talking about him, Vince talking about him. You had um people from the Princess Bride talking about him, anybody that was like pretty much involved with him. They had um even Arnold Schwarzenegger on it, he was talking about him, like all people that got to know him really well and everything, like that worked and it was with him. yeah, that worked with him, whether it was wrestling or in the entertainment business alone. Um, even they had like tales about him with Muhammad Ali talking. Mm-hmm. Um it was really interesting and really good to see like the history behind it to be honest with you um but besides i can get where you're coming from because like if you didn't really grow up with him and you saw the slam but like you really didn't see him after that because it's true after that pretty much they even said in the documentary that after that slam after he put hogan over that he um it was one of those things where he he started it was he was already like pretty much bad in health at that time he could barely move hogan was doing all the work and um the story of that match itself was really cool because like Hogan was worried that he wasn't gonna be put over by Andre, but like Andre was just fucking with him the whole time. Like, yeah, he, really so he would go out to me, he would be like, he'd like, oh, so what's gonna happen with the match? He'd be like, oh, don't worry. Like, you know, just like don't worry about it. It's fine and cool. And like Hogan wrote out the script for the match and everything, and like um, gave it to gave it to Vince, and they looked it over. He get um, and he didn't know how it was gonna go, but it was exactly detailed as Hogan thought the match should go out. Like everything that happened happened the way it was and um when there was one cool part when hogan was talking about like through he was pretty much just recalling the match when the slam part came up once he once they got to that point he was like slam me now like and hogan was like what he was like slam me so like when he picked up and slammed him then he was on the floor after the slam he um yelled out you know leg drop and he was like oh shit he's putting me over and like that's why he did the leg drop and everything but like after that pretty much like you said his career was already like going downhill that's why you didn't see him because he had health issues by that time the doctors told him that he wasn't going to be able to live past 40 regardless like and a bunch of people corroborated the legends about the drinking he apparently loved like um he loved to Huh? Doseki beer? Yeah. I'm sure he loved Doseki's beers. <laughs> but no, he um his favorite thing was to do was um fart jokes. Like he would fart for people and apparently his farts were legendary and shit. He would trap people and it was a really fun it not funny, but like it was a fun documentary that watch because of the so See It's it's cool this, to watch. It's, it's cool, cool to watch. All of that I heard It's not that. necessary. Yeah, yeah. If you heard a lot of this already, yeah. it's not really necessary to watch. But the way HBO puts it together, because obviously it's HBO and yeah, HBO yeah. Sports does really well with their documentary. Yeah, feeling about yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually just, really good. It's just like when it comes to like certain guys that I grew up with, you know, Bruno, you know, um, Andre, um, I and Sheik and stuff like that. People are now like, oh my gosh, did it? I'm looking like, oh, all right, I guess, you know. Look. You know, I get hyped for what's name, you know, I get hyped for Dilo Brown. You know, if I hear his music down the street, I'm gonna walk like him. When it comes on my playlist, I'm walking like him and dancing. But you, but the thing about it, it's the beauty of where it came from of yeah. course but that's that's what it is and like that's what the documentary Andre, is Andre the Giant is like literally like Bill Russell Will Chamberlain of wrestling yeah like the like the originator excuse me of like you know what I mean and Paul Hogan is Jerry West and besides his racist thing and no longer he's part of WWE but anyway it's a different conversation but when you look at wrestling and where wrestling is like Andre Giant is the beginning of of everything. Vince said it himself. I don't see what you guys like. Because, how he's trying to say because when you think of him, he's bigger than life. Literally, yeah. People went to just go watch him. Yeah, like all he's the time. literally That's bigger so than life, but he's also his. He was a character. Okay, and I get where you're coming. from. You didn't grow up with him, but you gotta respect it. Of course, I respect. It. It's kind of similar. Like I got because you're saying it's like you know that. I love ball. My favorite team is the Knicks. You feel me? I didn't grow up with Walt Clyde Frazier, but I see Walt Clyde. Yo, young Walt Clyde got the two rings, baby. I'm dapping him up. You know, respect because he's a legend that was the staples of the Knicks. So I just yeah, what you're trying no, to say. Yeah, and, but it's also like, 
You gotta enjoy and watch the history. And it kind of made you think like, yo, if I die, will people say nice shit about me too? Yeah. Like, you know, like, it's like, okay, you get, you get five people say something to your boss. No, seriously, seriously, think about it. Dying, right? I, I kind of I kind of went through that a little bit. But no, I, I'm, I'm talking here. about it. Like you oh, die. Oh shoot! Yeah, we all three of us have you know, a high five for that. No, no, not, not, not a high five. Not a high five moment, bro. But like it's a high five because like we we survived. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. We no. survived. We survived. No, we survived. Down. We survived. That's what I'm saying. Give me five. Leo, air five. <laughs> you two dogs. There you go. Listen, you die, and you might make a documentary about your life, and that many people say, because there's one thing people have different opinions about you. Of course. But from what you're saying is like, because I haven't watched it yet, it's a consistency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know it's that behind. Yeah. You. Yeah. you know what I mean? Him and Dusty, I always feel like they always got the similar consistent story. Even I remember Cody mentioned it on, I think on the Sam Roberts podcast, he said that he's hearing all these outrageous stories from his dad. One of the stories was like he was in the Congo, and then I think something happened. They're they chopping the Congo, whatever, and then they end up putting a wrestling show for these local soldiers. Mm-hmm. And then Cody was just like, oh, I don't believe that. That's mad fake. Then one time, Cody, um, Cody and his dad was on the side and whatever, spe- um, speaking, and the guy came up. He was like, Oh, Dusty, thank you for that wrestling match on Saturday third. And Dusty humbly was like, yo, no problem, it's Saturday then. That's when Corey realized, oh shoot, this is a really true story. Yeah, because you have to understand at that time before people, before k was broken, yeah. people believed that shit. Let me ask you a question. You think that k was good for wrestling business or was it bad? Oh, it yeah. was the greatest shit good, in the world. Good. It was. Because- and that fucking documentary Ruined everything. Oh, uh, but, 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 beyond the mat? No, it wasn't beyond the mat. It was like um, behind the behind the ring or something like that. Whatever it fucking was. Beyond the mat. It was, Yo, it was it is. Beyond the mat. It Do me a favor, look mat. it up. That documentary that was done. It had The Rock. It had Man Kind on the cover. I forgot who else. That, it the, is that, behind the mat. Behind the mat. Double check for us. Appreciate it. No, it because it ruined wrestling. Yeah, it did. And it did. you have to understand. Hogan couldn't wrestle for shit. No, yeah, it was man. terrible. Under the Giant definitely couldn't wrestle. He just clobbered motherfuckers. How many people in the golden age, did they go to the golden age? That um that era? It, it, it might be considered the golden age, I could be wrong. Nevertheless, is look that up. Yeah, beyond called? the map. Beyond the map, there beyond you the go. Mat. There you Fuck go. beyond the map. Fuck everybody who was part of beyond the map. Fuck them, their mother, and their ugly, ugly aunts. But you like The Rock. No, he wasn't part of that shit. You know that how that Vincent didn't know that had a, like it was for profit? I don't give a fuck. It was bullshit. It was a good documentary. Though. I don't give a fuck about it. About. Fuck them and their mother. And their ugly aunt. Because they, cause they, they... And their 13 cousins. Even though it was before the Attitude Era, kind of. Yeah. It's still like, fuck shit over. But then again, though, they could But the Attitude Era corrected a lot of that shit with all the fucking... All the gimmicks they had. Just Steve Austin himself. Yeah, they could... I don't give a fuck. fuck. What no, my thing is this? Don't disrespect the business. But then again, though, W like, k was a little bit still alive up until when WWE made E. I mean, made E. When they made Total Divas. That's where they yeah, fucked that's up. That's where they fucked up. Completely wide. I didn't like up. it. I didn't like Total Divas either. Boy, you watch it. I don't give a fuck. I love it. <laughs> but I was tight about it. <laughs> It'd be, it'd be fire. I'd be like this, girl. I've only watched one episode. Nah, of but, nah. I watched season. I watched but, but, Total Bellas is coming but back on soon. The episode too. that I watched, I was laughing my ass off the whole time, and it was super interesting. It's good. Don't be wrong. I think it was the one where they I took think the that this way, kind of peeking into what the wrestler does everyday life is good, but I don't like it when, when I see um, two people be chilling in WWE. Um, I don't, okay, I don't like to see. You know, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn just had a, a tough match. They always kill each other and backstage, chilling, laughing, playing with No, dog, that was a good movie. You did over here. I don't want to see that. But they, wanna, they, I, I they don't do, see that. They do make sure that they don't fuck that up a lot of times w- when it comes to social media. Because yeah. Nia is best friends with Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Yes. But they play, they play <laughs> they that angle not, perfectly. Yeah. They have not been on television. Nia I, has been more with Paige yep. than anything. Yeah. Now you see, I like that. As long as they keep that same That's because she, Nia's amazing. I mean, yeah, you saw an outfit, boy? Yo, she does. Yo, yeah, shit. Okay, I saw speaking, it, I was like, what? Speaking of divas, mm. Talk to there us, is girl. rumor that there is going to be a women's tag Ooh. team championship. The only way this works 
is if the tag team championship goes between both SmackDown and Raw. It, it, That's par- it. Apparently, it's going to come to both brands. Um, that is the rumor. Um, I feel like there's actual buildup now with, you know, you have, have a lot of- you have the, you have, um, Ruby Riot and her crew, you have um, Absolution. Absolution. They just you, brought up these girls from NXT. Um, Iconic Duel. Iconic Duel. Alexis, so Alexis, uh, Alexa Bliss and um, Mickey James, they have this whole relationship going on so right now. So talk about camera. Iconic Duel with the fact that they hold each other's hands? I love I mean, it. It's you know? weird. I it's mean, what girls do. They do do that, dude. Okay, so are you, okay, besides that, are you excited for, if there's a women's, I feel like this is a good push. What's your take so on we're not gonna acknowledge this, this creepy shit. We're not gonna acknowledge it. It's not creepy. It's just, it's Girls creepy. do that shit. Yeah, they do Girls that. could get away with yeah. that stuff. If I held your hand, it's creepy as fuck. It's weird. No, I just think that, you know, like. No country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong with you. I mean, I think Alex. Say so he wanted to sit next to you. I mean, I mean, I mean I like, I can touch each other's titties, like, ooh, girl, that's some good titties. Yeah. And lick them all of that. But no, I can't we, don't, say, we don't lick titties. <laughs> I can't go, no. Leo, I can't go, yo, Leo, so I see, that, I see that big print looking big, my nigga. Looking big. I can't say that. That's no, a wild game. Really you really can't. You can't. You can't that's say wild that. game. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I have. Y'all gonna be like, oh, man, your butt is so big. Hey, squeeze it. I can't go. Yeah. No, in high school and college, yes. These wow. are grown women <laughs> holding each other's hands to the ring. Such so at a high school. It's part of the gimmick. I don't give a fuck. They're the best business? friends. They're best friends. I don't know. Are they having sex with each other too? Maybe. No, Who cares? No, no. Even if it's they are. Weird. It's I don't fine. like it. It's a weird gimmick. They come down the ring holding each other's hands and they look weird. How about Mickey James and Trish Stratus? That whole thing. But it never went nowhere because Because Mickey James was trying to sleep with Trish Stratus. Yes. That was the gimmick. Who was yeah. it? Who yeah, was she was a trust. Mm. Even now. Exactly. Mandy Rose though is taking that spot. The porno? Really? She looks like she looks like Trish. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. Like a young yeah but yeah. I'll take to, Trish now. To go back to the tag team, this is dope. Hell yeah. This is dope because huh. it adds more options for these ladies. It does. It does. Because they're just oh. not just Muddling in a mid card. Yeah, for no reason. and it's like it, it gives them more things. Leo, you have something? Um, they're just like people commenting and stuff. Like what? Are what? They saying? Oh, um, see what I mean? See what I mean? He just <laughs> looks at the camera. Hi. Right. Huh? Hey, guys. Um, so someone said some of people talked talk, talk, said about the uh, um beyond King Fit, beyond the man. All right, give us what about. exactly. Like they, they just said that it was beyond the mat. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So I think it's great. What do you think about it? To be honest, I think it's real great. It's about time. They said that the women's tag team titles is possible with the dual brands. Um, and um, yeah, I think also it. said. Oh, um, Matt said to, um by his show in the Bronx. Yes, four twenty. We know Matt. I was gonna say that later. Thanks. <laughs> um, nevertheless, <laughs> that tag team division. It's about time, and let's not focus on what they didn't do, shoulda, woulda. Let's focus on that. I think it's really great. The reason it's gonna work is because of the fact that now both, that every single pay-per-view is co-branded. It's gonna work that yeah. way. It's not, it's not, it's no, not only that. No, but to me, it has to, the belts, you can't have one belt per, for each thing. You have to have it float between you have to. SmackDown and Raw, because there's not enough women to like fill that out for just, you're gonna have so to, like two or three tag teams. So you think that's gonna be the end of the separate roster? No, I think you could just, just like you have John Cena floating about, just going back and forth and shit like that, you yeah. can have the belt itself as like, whoever just, holds it. Whoever holds it. And you can have like a number one contender match here and there, and then like have a, some, they, they'll figure something out, but so I think the belt like, should um, float between the brands. When the world championship, the WWE championship float between two yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah, that worked out. But. What do you think? I think it's a one. It's about time. Two. The reason why it didn't, it's not it didn't happen before is because there was not a strong enough women's roster. You had too many women that was comfortable just being on the sidelines and getting paid, and not enough women that was willing mm. to get in the ring and actually scrap and earn a spot in that roster. So now, when you have all these women that are just ready to go at any given time, now it's time to work. Now it's time to throw some belts in the mix and make things more interesting. Who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll have all, all, all women's uh, pay-per-view. Something, but 
it's not gonna happen now, but it's they it's a foundation for pay-per-view. something. It's they a just foundation. did the Saudi Arabia shit. Don't put that face. There's no women in a Saudi. In no, that. I'm saying that they could have a yeah. Yeah, they could. They could have it, but because if they have the Saudi, not now. But you realize there's no women on that on that show. No, right? no, no, yeah, of course. Yeah, because, I know, because I know the reasons of, why. Because yeah, of, of why course. we're not gonna get into that, but. Yeah, 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 we'll we'll move, we'll move on. Let's talk about NXT. Wow. Damn. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's talk about NXT. Quick recap. I'm gonna go around, see, say what you like, what you, what stood out to you. NXT was fucking amazing. It was dope. It was. Fucking amazing! Adam Cole, baby! It was great! It was, it told a story, it was great action, it was high fucking spots, my dick got hard! <laughs> it was big dick stars across the fucking board! You know what? The thing is, every single match was very high. Big dick pace. status. Pre- pretty much, because every single I wasn't disappointed at all with either match. I thought I wasn't. Oh, I that's a I, shirt. <laughs> big dick status. That's a shirt. That's a shirt. Merch coming soon. Yoga flames and big dick status. Ray no. Dre, no. You ready again? You ready? No. Y'all ready? No. Jabba Tears merch. Coming soon. Coming soon. And a shirt called Big Dick Status. Mm. So we us. Y'all should just have a picture of y'all going like this. Ooh! Big dick yeah. stats. Just the arms though, just like that. I like that. I like that. I'ma trademark that shit, then you gotta <laughs> <be>. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, each match was like on point. Every single match was on point. Um, there were stories told, high spots, and everything was, it was great. Mind you, I watched the shit after I saw the Ring of Honor one, so like, it was like, at two, oh, Ring, two of Honor. Of Ring of Honor was fucking great, too. Everything was Who on stood point. out to you? In Ring of Honor? Yes. Um, two matches that stood out the most were obviously the Kenny and Cody match. That was a great match to watch. You know, they, one they spot that they did that I haven't seen in wrestling, probably never, well, we probably did it in the backyard I used to wrestle, is the fact that they took the table, put it to the side, mm. and Cody slamming onto there. I was just like, man, that is amazing. Yep. That was just something, that was like, a big dick snatch. Yeah, big it dick was. Stash. It was. Even the, um, the other match was that I really liked was the, uh, the, Six man tag match between um, the Bucks, the Young Bucks, and Flip Gordon that versus um, SoCal Uncensored. That was like, I mean, those were the two best matches of the overall, night to me. NXT reminds me so much of Ring of Honor, but NXT just had better camera work. That's what it is. At the end of the day, it's the production value. Because honestly, sometimes I'd be watching Ring of Honor, I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, B. Come on, what's up? Get out the on? way. Like, yeah. well, you're not putting it at the right well, spot. You this have but then the other thing is you have the formula. Dollars, and then you have billions of dollars. That yeah, is true. That is true. Yeah. That is true. And plus, you have a formula you've perfected since, like, what, the 80s? So it's true, like exactly. true, true. They've been Ring of Honor's been there for sixteen years. How long has? Yeah, they've been not just. They're, still, they're, they're still working on it. Um, they're still working on it. But overall, my my recap for NXT Takeover it was great. Big dick ties across the board. Um, that last match, it told that shit was crazy. Story yeah. In the ring. yeah, amazing. Overall, that whole. He'll turn by my son, Roger Strong. He joined the new era. That was great. You know what? I mean, it was great that he did it. And I finally, Roger Strong has something to do. But, um, cause I, I'm not, I'm not, a, honestly, I don't, not that big of a fan of his. He does, he does, he does. He does. He does. He does. Try get all the titles. He does. But um, the other thing is like, they kind of had this storyline already with, with Sanity. When they were trying to get him on Sanity, and then they just rehashed the same thing with the Unspeeded Era. Did he join Sanity for a little bit? No. They were trying to get Eric him Young was trying to get him for a yes, while. Yes, yes. But then, like, it's, they rehashed the same thing. That's why I was like, all right, I knew you were probably going to do it this time. But, like, it wasn't, to me, it wasn't that. Sanity or Undisputed? No, I know that. I, mean, I get that. But yeah, I'm just saying, they just rehashed the storyline. You know, I can like, see it coming this time because. It's like, you know, Perry Ellis or Gasoline and Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not joining the Saturday. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then like I just put has a very NWO ish kind of feeling. And the thing is all of them are Ring of Honor too. Every oh. single one of them. But you know what's funny? 
My big dick status match of the night. Hmm. Shayna versus Amber Moon. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That was big dick status Ooh, of the night. That was mega big dick status mm. of the night. Because it was big dick status across the board, mm. but this was mega big dick status. Mm. And me- mega big dick status number two. Would you say Super Saiyan big dick status? No, no, no. We're not going there yet. <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> not yet? Not yet. Uh, one day. One day. It's like a five-star match. Mm. Nobody was a five-star match. Just watch but, New Japan. You'll see five-star matches yeah, on the regular. Exactly. The unsanctioned match. That was a great fucking match. That was mega big dick sex. Mm. But again, with these unsanctioned matches, right? Why does that referee? Somebody needs to count. Somebody needs to count. Yeah, count and count. submit. That's it. That's literally what he's there for. So why do you call a um, anywhere fall match? They it still needs to be in the ring, apparently, yeah. for some fucking reason. I have no idea why. They have to call it in the ring yeah. because you have to get that shot. Mm, it's, pretty much. It's, all, it's mostly. I remember, it's not like it used to be before. Technically, it can happen anywhere, but the reason why you want it to happen in the middle of the ring, you want to get that hard cam and get that shot because when you get that and shot, you, want the crowd you can too. get the crowd's reaction. You could stream it through social media. That pop once you know. The winner mm-hmm. so, know, defeats the other. I love that match everywhere. Every everything that was done that match was such great storytelling. Mm-hmm. And Shade Up Bezos versus Ember Moon is the big dick status of the night, mega big dick status of the night. But I'm putting them both next to each other. Mm. Of two mega big dick status. Hey, that make ultra dicks. You're getting closer to Super Saiyan? Mm, real close. What's Leo? up? What's up, What's up Lee? Kravitz said... Mm. Sounds a crowd. The ladder match was a big dick status. Don't pause. The ladder match was? It was good, but I felt that... They had big dick stereo with the ladder. No, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. The, the ladder match was really, really good. It's what we expected it to and be. To yes, be and, and, and that's, that's what, what it is. is. Yeah, that's we what expected it that. You already knew it was going to be good. But... The other two matches, the I guess. The other two matches told more of a story. Mm. While the latter match was fucking phenomenal, it was spots. Mm. No real story being told, whatever. Like we weren't seeing a struggle of Adam Cole having to having to worry about um conserving his body for the next match type of shit. We just saw a match. Yeah, he went all out. He went all out. Which is good. But Shayna versus Ember showed something. And then the last match when he fucking took the um the the, the knee brace and put oh, it against yeah. his face. Yep. Johnny yeah, Wrestling was yep. telling a story. Then his, then his girlfriend ran down the ring. This is all quality storytelling. Oh my gosh. It's something indie. you could build. Yeah, it's, it's a yes. builder. You know what it is though? NXT has better storylines right now than fucking me. Yeah. And well, that's it's, the only, thing. it's only five. It's only like five matches. Yeah, five but matches. three matches a night. But what I'm telling you is also like when you have because this has been the case for like what the past two three years already that NXT is out doing WrestleMania all the fucking time. Well, every main event, every, every, every main pay per view, yeah, every time. Fucking Brooklyn. Oh, it was two, three, four, over. five, or six, whatever the fuck. Like I guess you have to understand. They're better. Like, they're better at creating storylines in a three hour time frame for NXT than they are in a seven fucking hour pay per view that I have to sit in the whole fucking time at the stadium. <laughs> the first three hours of WrestleMania, great. Yeah, I felt that when I was watching it. But you know, I'm a WWE head, and I will defend them. You gotta look at it in a different way. Vince is heavy handed right now. And it's the creative team is not bad, but they're not doing the long run of oh, no. things. They haven't and, done it for a while. And NXT is doing the long run of things. That's why it works. Yeah. The only long run of things that they got right was the Nia Jax bliss shit. That's the yeah, only yeah, that's long the game storyline that they have gotten right. So now that we're talking about that, let's just roll into WrestleMania recap because I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling everything you just said right now. We can we can talk about that first. Wait, um, what's up, Double D? Zeus Zabis nine eight five said, "What about the Black vs. Almas?" Great fucking match. Oh shoot! But it wasn't Big Dick Status. It was a mega Big Dick Status match. It didn't paint that much of a story. It didn't. It was Big Dick Status. Yeah, but not mega Big Dick Status. Mm, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's my reaction so, to that. So let's. So I'm gonna do this one because this is a long pay per view. This yo, this is a long pay per view. I I, I want to. You mentioned Naya and you mentioned Bliss. Let's just 
jump into the women's first. Ladies no, we'll first, do that. right? That's fine. <laughs> Honestly speaking, um, we all knew Nia Jax was gonna win. Let's let's be real. We did, we and I took us. six shots for that. How how did you feel after that? I was fucked up the next day. Oh. <laughs> I was fucked up all the next day. I think, yo, you want to use like. Yo, yeah! I was like, why are you so loud? I don't know! <laughs> like, I was... So, she won. I called the witches over. She takes shots at Jameson. She pulls him over. I took him like a did Jada. Yeah, you did. I just straight took him. Then, I didn't really eat because I was running around the whole entire thing. Oh, <coughs> oh fuck. That fucked you up. So then, I'm sitting there. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh! The whole world just shifted? Yeah, it, it felt like, like I hit another dimension where... <laughs> so... Oh, this is what alcohol is. Now, I don't have a cousin Leo story for this week, but let me have the big dog, big wolf story this week. Mm. So, this is a, it's a treat for y'all. It's a treat for y'all. So, it's a treat for the live feed. I don't know about the YouTube thing. Leo cut this part out, you feel me? But it's exclusive for the live feed, exclusive. So, we all been chilling there in the cut, you know. I guess he had a couple of his friends there, and one of his friends brought, like, a female friend. This guy trying to convince this little girl, like, yo, you know, look at my brother, you look just like me, you know, you losing weight, you know, you got a big dick like me. I was like, whoa. This is wild, <laughs> uncomfortable. And she always laughing, like, haha, but yeah. He's like, but yeah, not my brother, though. But him right here. I guess it was his friend. He was like, yeah, you know, he got good credit. He said, yeah, I'm kind of an 850. He live on the Upper East Side. Bullshit. Nobody got no fucking 850. My girl has an 850. She got an 850? Yeah. Nice. I guess it's got to say 85. His girl's not white. The girlfriend is white though, so you expect that from her. So anyway, the girlfriend's not white. She's not white. We can't prove that. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> I met her on Sunday. She's actually really lovely though. Again, nobody seen your girlfriend before. Like I don't kind of like I, sorcery. I, I come up with. I think I seen her stories. You see my Instagram all the time. Again, I don't know what, what Davey seen. Clearly, I see you, a white woman. You want woman. me to pull it up? Again, you know, I couldn't see a white woman all the time. It's I'm not a person. filter, it's her. So listen. She was in power. I never messed up. up. She said that recklessness, and the guy, she looked at him laughing, and the guy was just like, I mean, you know, what up? What happened to that? Did they end up getting together? They used to date back in the day. Mm. Why don't you give him a second chance? That's what I was trying to do when I was drunk. Damn. <laughs> fucked up. And, and the thing about it with me, I'm a happy drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was happy, you know. I, I, I never Nia been. just won. Huh? Nia just won, of course you're happy. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not like an angry drunk. Never been an angry drunk. And not belligerent. Yeah, I'm not a belligerent. I'm like, I'm just happy. I want to hug people, make people feel happy about themselves. So I'm not that kind of drunk. But I was fucked up. You were barely when you... Like, I woke up the next day. <laughs> Yeah, I am a bailiff. So, wifey picks me up. <laughs> wifey picks me up. I get in the car. I'm fucked up. She's like, you hungry? I was like, yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go to 53rd and 6th for some halal, halal guys. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what time was this? It was like, two, it was like 1 a.m., like 1 30. We, we, we gotta do like a bunch of shit after. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let's go there. That's the best when you're drunk. And then though. she's like, I'm, I'm not, not gonna driving lie. up there. We're on 33rd and we have to go downtown to go to Jersey. And I was like, all right, all right. McDonald's. There's one on 14th between 1st and 2nd. There is one, yeah. yeah I, Yo, how you know about this? There is one. You forgot to do a nightlife for Mad Long? Oh. So we get there. That's true. I ordered a large plate, extra hot sauce. I don't know what the fuck I was saying. But the white sauce on there, I'm in the car. I'm eating so sloppy. And she just bought a new car. Oh. It's a BMW. Oh. And it's like a big one, so we're sitting there. She's like, "Don't get shit on my car, nigga." <laughs> you like get yelled at, don't you? Right? I don't know. So, I'm, so then I, I end up closing it. All I remember is me getting home, taking off my shoes while I'm on the couch. Next thing I know, I'm up the next day, laying face down on the couch. Halal guy is next to me, and she going, "Don't you have work to go to?" So. I get up. It's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> what? I take a shower real quick. I don't even know if I really took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I go lie to you. If you put on the water, I think you're good. I think I, I think I literally turned the water on and turned it off after. <laughs> I let the water pour on me for like two minutes and then pour. I got dressed. You rinsed yourself. Yeah. I took so long to get to it. Like, you know, I, I'm late at this point. I was like, Took my sweet time. I walked up, got down the train, found a seat, and passed out. Then I woke up with the conductor waking me up like, yo, last stop. I was like, oh shit. 
I go fuck that day. What time you got to work? Like 30 minutes late. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm always like 30 minutes early. But I was like, so were you so you were on time then? Nah, I, mean, uh, I was fucked up. No, that's but that's Spanish, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is just Spanish. <laughs> but that's that's really me in general. I have to stop for breakfast. Huh? I didn't get back to that. I would stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. You know, you live in Jersey, but I don't make book good, good like the like Corn and cheese. Yeah. But New York, I'm okay. Can I get big and cheese? Right, nah, nah, right at the I was car. good. I was good. I was good. I end up recovering last night because you because the event we had 1,100 people at the event. Yeah, sorry. So I was running around to both venues. Yeah. And I didn't really eat. Yeah, of course. And I didn't sleep the night before either. Right. Because I got home at like almost two o'clock. And I had to be up at like seven. Yeah, right. Woke up at seven. I was up like five hours. Right. So I was fucked up until like last night. But anyways, WrestleMania in general, I enjoyed it. It was the good. The that I saw and then when I rewatched it again. My only issue is what you said. It's fucking long as fuck. But I told you this before. It needs to be that long. You have a, such a huge roster. And you got to like... Feed everybody. It's everybody got to eat. Show. Okay, this everybody. is the thing. I don't mind it being seven hours long as long as they get the card order correct and they didn't. That's where they fucked up to me. Because for me, I would have started... I'm not caring that much about the pre-show. The pre-show was fine as it was. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have started with the Seth Rollins match with the triple threat match for Intercontinental Check. I would have started with the... If anything, I would have started with the um, US title match. The Intercontinental match should have been where the Braun Strowman match was. Oh my gosh. Exactly. The WWE um, Championship should have been the main event because, and they should have built that even better. Um, Undertaker John Cena, that happened when it happened. Everything else was Undertaker pretty much. Undertaker John Cena should have been the pre show. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy what they were doing. Kurt I Angle, saw the sort of vision. Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey should have came after the Bludgeon Brothers won. To me, nah. Let's talk about that match. Which one, the Kurt Angle? Yeah. Oh, it was fucking amazing. It was thought, the be- to me be best be match of the trash. night. I thought it was gonna what be. What are you talking about? I thought it was gonna be trash. Best match of the night for me. It was the best match of the night. Yep. No, nah, it wasn't the yep. best match. In terms of entertainment value overall and the way it was scripted the whole way, it was the best match of the night. So you know what? I'll give you that because. But when I'll I go to- with the IC title match. That's but the hold best on, match. when I got that's to the, work, that's the best one. My core was like, um, I know you like wrestling, and then. I like saw like the Oscar WrestleMania match. last night really good. and I was watching it and then that bitch or an all black talking about Stephanie, she kept hitting her. And I was like, I can't stand this bitch. Great storytelling. Yeah. Because you don't know who the person is and you already have some type of feeling. That's why I like so it. So I will give you a little bit of story. It was a little bit it of story. Entertainment done. Entertainment value and it was done. The angle the, the match was solid. Yeah. I wish it was the best match of the night. You bug it. No, I it feel it was to me of because, I mean, overall, because like, of the entertainment value. I mean, that's why it was the best I one. I felt when the like the the whole like the whole match really picked up and got really flowing is the part when I think Triple H had dragged out Ronda. Out yeah, the that's where everybody started. That's when out. it took a turn for the better because Triple H was there and the fact that Triple H came to the ring and what, that's when the moment I realized Ronda. It's kind of like a Chris Benoit hybrid is when, like, she squared up, like, arms like a real dude, like, yeah. yo, I'm about to beat the crap out of you. How she rolled up, picked him up onto his shoulders. I seen that. I was just like, if she slammed Triple H, the, all, the whole all, stadium would have yeah, exploded. Yeah, it would have erupted, and everything he did during the era he was world champion would have been erased. It I would have forgiven him for Booker T. That's why they didn't do it. And the fact that Stephanie came out was just like typical Triple H. Can't, just can't say something to make it right again. But overall, that was a very, very good it match. It was a good match. And it was an okay match, a good match. I can't give it you that. Because she was so sloppy. Who? Ronda. Ronda, she was a little I think it was more on so it's, it's, Stephanie's yeah. and that was more sloppiness yeah. than anyone. No, but she can't do She was throwing the punch at Triple H. Look. I don't like this. I don't believe this. But it's like a um, it's like a rapid punch. Like it looks shit. Yeah, it does. But Triple H sold it good. No, it looked like how when I first started training and I was trying to strike. That's exactly what it looked like. It looked like it, it looked shit. It looked like a was actual, it looked like a match That was actual training. boxing that's for her. That's like. what it was. Yeah, yeah but she no, was using no, her boxing. No, no, no. Okay, so no my nigga, saying boxing to wrestling. Who yeah. punches out words? Rondas or Shane's? I'll take Shane's. Uh, as worse. 
Oh no no, that's better. Oh, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> you, I'm, I'm crazy. what? You're crazy. You're crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, whose punches are worse? Shane, Sugar Shane, or I mean Shane O'Mac. Sugar Shane. Or Ronda Rousey. How's your boy Shane, by the way? He's doing good. He's alright. So, my big dick match of the night goes to yep. Braun Strowman. Yeah, Braun Strowman and Nicholas. That's your big dick, man. That's my big dick of the match. It might be pedophile pedophilia because I said big dick was yeah. in there. Wow. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, for kids, I say big Lego status. Big Lego status. There you go. Big Lego status of the night. That shit hurts when you step on it. Was, yeah, yeah, shit does. Yeah, it does. Was Braun Nicholas. Because you know what? It was fun. It was a moment. It was something it for the was kids. It was fun, and I get it where you're coming from, but it was the, a disservice to the whole tag team division. It was. It was, it was a huge disservice to the whole It was disrespectful. Whole th- it was disrespectful. That's the only reason that it's like a downturn. Yeah, that's me. how I feel like Don't get me wrong. When, we, when I was there, being there, when like the kid got into the ring, and we were all like, fucking yeah, do something cool. And then he did. I was like, if that was me, I would have like ran up to him and just started fucking popping yeah, him or some yeah. shit. And he just like froze. I get him freezing the 78,000 people. You're 10 and you just got picked out of the crowd. Supposedly he was one of the like referees, referees kids. So, yeah. But um still like I get it, but at the same time it would have been awesome if he had done something. But I also get, you know, freezing seventy eight thousand people. Again, you right. But I to me the whole thing was just like you buried old division. Yeah, you kind of you fucked And after that, Braun just all right, his attack team title. Yeah, on Raw, exactly. He just went away Mary. I'm looking like it's because they need Braun on WrestleMania. The thing, what they should have done was let him go against them by himself. That's it. No. Yes. I wasn't that surprised. I was, because that build up was good. It made you think who the fuck's gonna be who's gonna be his um partner. Who's gonna be his partner? Who's gonna be a partner? One thing I forgot to talk about. What? Cedric Alexander made history that night. Great fucking match. As being the first black wrestler to win a title at WrestleMania. Pop it up. Pop it up. Hashtag black excellence. Back every day. Every day. But that was my biggest moment of the match. Now, my disappointment of the night. <laughs> AJ Styles versus Sixteen Nakamura. I was disappointed. I was too. But I was because I've seen the New Japan match. Exactly. And exactly. It exactly. was yeah. like I was waiting for them to kick the living fuck out of each other, and WWE played it way too fucking safe. And I was like, one, you didn't build the shit properly for either him, for either um, Nakamura after he won it, or Asuka. They didn't give a fuck about promoting either one properly. That's why Asuka lost as well, and that's why Nakamura lost. Two, like I said, saw the New Japan match in Wrestle Kingdom Nine. It Not the compare. same caliber. It didn't compare. It was good for what it was. It was a good match for Russell, for WrestleMania. It was fine, but like with all the hype saying this is a dream match, the Sam the Sami Zayn Nakamura match in NXT was, was ten times fucking better. It was way better. This one didn't pay a story to me until he turned fucking heel. That's when he was just like, okay, if that's what you were doing from the beginning, you should have had him going at it full speed from the beginning. You're right. You're 100 percent right. There wasn't a buildup, and I hate the fact that they have faces versus faces. I fucking hate that. Now, you brought up Oscar and Charlotte. Oh no! The fact that Oscar tapped out, I didn't like. Tapped that. out, then yeah, got up, like. and then congratulated her. Kicked the chick in the fucking face. Let's get some. I don't like this at all. That should have been the heel turn. Yeah. That should have been a major heel turn. And she should have turned up on the roster. Like, yeah. Literally ripping girls' head off and everything like that. But yeah. the one thing I like about the whole, like, well, we talk about my smack that later, but go ahead. But I guess my kind of disappointment was, I asked the Dane Brown and Shane McMahon match. It's just like. I said the same thing. It was, yeah, I was agreeing. Like, it was, it was okay. Cool. Yeah. It was okay. okay. But it's just like. You could tell that. Anybody that was wrestling Daniel was very timid to, to even do something, yeah. Do anything to him because they were worried about him. Even though he's cleared, you as a wrestler, you will always have that fear because you do not want to be the reason why another competitor can never do Sasha what they love page. again. Oh shoot. It's not we we'll get to that. We'll get to it. Um dang, what else we what else are we gonna cover? Um, so how many big dicks we give in WrestleMania? Hmm. Wait, how many big dicks is the ratio? Oh, 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 five or five? Yeah. Five. Oh. five is the greatest? Yeah. Three. Three? Five is in five inches? <laughs> no. Not a big dick. 
If it's not over six, it depends on the woman. Yeah, it depends on the first game, too. One to five. So it's like a six inch or a nine inch. No, no. Shut up. We're not talking about. Somebody said 2.5. 2.5 big dicks? 2.5. 2.5 to 3. I gave it a 3. I gave it a 3. I gave it a 3.5 big dicks. Big dick status. I stick at 3. Question. Oh, we talk about when we get to Raw. I guess. <laughs> what happened? Matt also said 3 midget dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Midgets usually have big dicks. Lord Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister apparently has one. Because, so, we're going to go off subject a little bit. So, um. Growing up, we used to watch the Spice Channel. Oh, 65. at 12 a.m.? <laughs> no, during, during the day. Oh, that's but, sad. I, I, I had a legal cable. We did. I get home after school. Hey, you had a legal cable. And then yeah. I'd watch it. I think so like then, Spanish black. Yeah. yeah. So then what? I No, um, St. Patrick's Day is in March, right? Is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. March. Yeah, yeah. So then... The Buck of Barge, they read a special about midget porn. Oh my god, that must have been amazing. <laughs> 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 no. That must have been so, so much fun to watch. And, and I was like, yo, what is this? Because they were running like midget porn for that month of March. And Did they have the Wee Man one? Yes. Yes. So then they had midget porn, and I was like, yo, these motherfuckers are packing me? Like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, this is crazy. That's <laughs> so that's why I'd be like, yo, if you're gonna say <laughs> two bits of dick, I'm like some. <laughs> All right, moving on. Matt, you see what you're starting? <laughs> moving Matt, on. Matt, Matt's telling us to stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop. All right, so we. Go from HR, I said 3.5 dicks. No, that's not the scale, you know. No, it is. You said three. It is. Yeah, she out of five. No, big dicks. You can't say regular dicks for this one. Oh, big yeah. dicks. Listen, she can do whatever she wants. She just she had like a HR. mission back to New York. She is HR. And yeah, you know. And she can do whatever she wants. What else? Arrows unrated. Oh no. How many big dicks y'all give WrestleMania? Get get to us. Yes. Oh, um, said two point five. Tell Kula to shut the okay. fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk. You're not here. You see this empty space? You're not here. So so we all been like real thirsty to talk about Raw. Because it was fire! It was fire! <laughs> Raw was fucking fire! I finished, I finished up. My bad, my bad. No, no, but he was saying everything I was saying. He's good. Yeah. Oh, so fire me. <laughs> Never turn off a room. Was. I watched it on the flight home, honestly speaking. I watched the first hour on the flight good. home, and so um, good. So good. the only thing I didn't like, no way Jose, there's no reason for him to be on main um, yeah. to me. Um, Jeff Hardy coming back he was dope. People. That was dope. He got people. Nah. What do you have have against No Way Jose? He's trash, dude. He is trash. It's like Adam Rose be packed. It is. Yeah. That's exactly what we said on the flight. And we both just looked at each other. We were like, why the fuck is Adam Rose back? <laughs> like, that's the first a Dominican Adam Rose. That's literally what it was. Like, we just we put our shit back on. I was like, what the fuck? Yo, leave my Uber driver alone, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's blasting the tunes, right? Oh, man. So, no surprise that Ronda Rousey attacked Stephanie. I mean, we all saw that. I was happy about that, A mile away. Um, Raw was a great... Is it because they're a coming home show, the the show after? Yeah. Yes. So, it was a phenomenal coming home show. And so, WrestleMania is basically the end of a season Mm -hmm. for wrestling. Mm -hmm. It's the Super Bowl. it's It's the NBA Finals. It's the MLB, whatever, World Series. It's the end. Now, this is a great way to start the, the new season of wrestling. My Uber driver on the way to the uh, to the airport asked the question because he went to WrestleMania as well. Yeah. He asked the question. He was like, "Do you think that just like the NFL, NBA, soccer, whatever, like that wrestling should have like a off season, like when they could like put shit together?" Honestly speaking, properly. I think they should. Yeah. I and when he, he said that, I was like, oh shit, I never thought They should have at that. least, I'll uh, give two it months off. one month off. One month, 30 days. 30 days off, everybody goes do what they have to do, do what go they chill. Have to do, go family, chill with family, yeah. and then come back. Now, if WWE did that, I think it'll be so much better. It'll be so much better, less injuries, People will be re- and more super people will be yeah. enticed to go to WWE. Because people complain about, about the work schedule. And on top of that, it's just like, it'll be more hype for the Raw after WrestleMania because you have a month off. You have a month off, and then 
the new it's a new season start and it's a season opener. And Think that's when it. you do the shake up. You do the shake up. You do, you do the, the draft. draft. You do everything. Yo, <laughs> Jaden. <Yeah. laughs> Jaden. Monies. So Pacer Wilkins. Mm-hmm. Now what I what I, what I love first Nia's champion first of all yeah. yeah. Baby girl is champion. She, she's basking in the glory. Ember Moon comes out. We're loving this shit. Mm. I didn't expect Ember Moon to be I didn't, called I didn't up. Expect that. Me either. I, expected I, it didn't to, expect I expected her to be called up before when she lost to Asuka. But then when she won the fucking belt again, I was just like, okay, she's going to be there for a while. But I didn't expect her to be called up that. I didn't expect her to be called up that, 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 quick, that quickly. I think after that she lost. Ember yeah. Moon is a nice addition to the Raw roster. Because I feel like it's more of ref- a I'm trying to focus. It's more. Yeah. Ember Moon being back, I fucking love it. Then. I was. I did like the idea. I think that Ember Moon being a part of the Royal roster is giving more refresher look. Because, again, hashtag um, Black Girl Magic. I love to see my black queens on the screen, this, that, and third. But it's nice to see her up there because I know she'll be a great storyteller. You can probably match up with the. Naomi. With the I think she oh should have went, went to SmackDown Naomi. if it was Naomi, Naomi and her. There's too much Naomi. queenness right there. Naomi. But imagine her doing something with the Woken universe. Oh my gosh. Ember Moon and them through talking. You get real. Uh, you know what's my favorite segment of the night? The Jeff Hardy one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that, was, that was done so perfectly when they were like, what the hell was that? He was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> just kept walking. I was like, I clapped. I was like, that was done so fucking it was, well. It was, what was done well? You know, I was asking if you guys have touched on black excellence in uh, WrestleMania and Raw. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're talking about that, Janelle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, right now. I, as we're t- I just, Why are you <laughs> sending me to help? Like, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Why are you sending me right, to right. First of all, <laughs> if you want to go there, you don't want to go off subject. Bobby Lashley. Oh, my uh, pops. Oh, he's not our pops. Amber <laughs> Moore. You be hanging, son? Come on, hold on, please. No, black ass. No, we're not doing this. Cedric Alexander. There's a lot of, a lot of quality. Quality. Black ass. Dark skin. Dark skin. <sighs> We're not doing this right now. Come, come on, I'm, sir. I'm in my zone. Okay. And okay. then we have some Spanish people coming up. Mm. You can't tell me that office of pain aren't Dominican. They have to be. They have to be. They have to be, they have to somebody, be fucking Dominican. Somebody, hold on. The way somebody they speak Google. English, I'm just like. Yo, no, it's Google no, that. No, 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 Off of pain, I need Dominicanos or something like that. They gotta be something. They have to be something. But the thing, are they Samoan? Yo, because Samoan Naya was like some brothers. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Naya, this Naya was brothers. like brothers. I don't know. You know what? Well, I, got, wait, I have a question. Sure. What's, what's like Primo in the um? Primo Puerto Rican, yeah. No, no. What Primo was in the Battle Royal? Yes, I believe so. Mm, okay, I was wondering about that. He was Epico guy. wasn't on it, but I, I know why. Primo was. No, um, nah, it's it's the game. It's getting up there. But they're Armenian. They're, they're Armenian. Armenian, really? Oh wow! Oh, wow! So, okay. They look Dominican. So, Matt, Matt Awesome. Thank you, Matt Awesome. They do. But listen. It's fucking amazing. Moment of the night, Kurt Angle saying hey to, to Sami Zayn oh and Kevin Owens, our tag team division is full. I heard TNA is high. Oh my yes. god. He said that shit? Yes. 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 Where were yeah. you? I, I was probably like. You probably saw him play. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's when that. it was yeah, that's, that's out. When yeah. Yeah. See how that's smart like, everybody is? That's when it was landing. TNA. They could use that name on Impact. So everybody knows he's mentioned TNA. Oh, that's true. Which oh, like, Impact. When he, when he said I was just like. Uh-huh. That's smart. That's, that's real smart. smart. Could not have play with on a TNA. Everybody knows impact. I think that's real. Overall, WWE is going to a nice direction with a mixture of especially with Raw of storytelling and wrestling. There's a few people who complain about it, but I came to a conclusion when it comes to wrestling fans, you can't please anybody. You can sign the all stars, you can sign, you know, um, you can sign all the Indian <laughs> gods, you can sign Jesus, you can sign Moses, everybody. You have the all stars. And I'll be a fly to like vision though. Oh shoot. You gotta add a Dracula to it too. Like imagine Jesus versus the devil. Woo! WrestleMania. <laughs> Cell match. Woo, whoever whoever wins, takes over heaven. Oh no, man! Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that's fire because it's hell. Oh my god! My only no, my no, only no, disappointment of the night. My only disappointment of the night was the way they handled Samoa Joe and Roman. I liked it. I liked it. No. To the point. I, 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 I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But it didn't bury nobody. But I feel like I like. Where are you going with this? 
Simple. It's some old Joe. You can throw at anybody. It's cool. Yeah, but where are you going with this? He you has write, unfinished business with Roman Reigns. Right, yeah, but are you putting the title on Roman? That is they true. Probably they probably are. put in the side of Ray Blair. If right. you think about it, because of the fact that Brock Lesnar extended his contract probably for only one more match, he's probably going to lose it in Saudi, yeah, Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, and then you have the championship okay. program between you the two. You know one thing that... You, you, you have two you know, Samoans against each other, and one is a very, very fucking good heel, and the other one that's trying exactly. to be a baby face but never working out. A, a, a mouse, a cat and mouse shape. One thing I didn't yeah. like is the way that it treated Elias. You went from your main event so of Elimination annoying. Chamber, and then you got beat up by John Cena... And then you get beat up again by. I was just about to say that. Elias is a jobber. Is a high end jobber. Yeah. The fucked up thing is he's talented as fuck to be like. He has his own main. show unplugged, yeah. singing songs. Yeah. He's mad, yo. He gets over the guitar. He does. Not even like hitting anybody. He sings in the ring. Yeah. And it's entertaining. He I is misused or put him on SmackDown. That's it. The shake up is happening, so you might yeah. be able to make Put him on SmackDown. Smackdown. That's probably the reason why they were doing yeah. this shit, too. Because, now, Bobby Lashley coming back, I was fucking hype. 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 My, my dick got hard. Pause. It was amazing. Now, what he did was, it wasn't much. It but he was throwing shots. But he did that, like, I mean, I was going to do the, the, the whole dominate and everything. He didn't even do it. I was tight. He did a, like the um the Falcon Arrow and that's it. Yeah, but he, it's a build up. A side note. Y'all remember on SmackDown 2 and SmackDown 1 when you do the moves, there's a tug on the bottom? Mm-hmm. And Falcon Arrow. Yeah. That's how I learned all the moves, by the way, through SmackDown 1 <laughs> and 2. We used to never turn it off because I learned the moves and stuff like that. Yeah. But, oh yeah, No Way Jose was trash. Yeah, trash. Just stupid. Trash. You know? Trash. Trash. I don't know why they brought him up. I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with that. He, it's trash. To make some, to make some empanadas. Yeah. It's like you have to, you have to give to the di- WWE is huge on diversity, so you have to. You're bringing. So you put a dancing Dominican. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, yeah. And believe it or not, Hispanics is good. We're gonna like that. Okay. People okay. are gonna. Honestly, you know, honestly, we're gonna like that. We're gonna like that. I'm gonna be that. honest with you. There's probably gonna be some Dominican grandmothers be like, Oh, mira ese. He's dancing <laughs> on WWE, and they're gonna fucking watch it. They okay. Got, they might so you're scroll saying through this. and just watch. So you're saying this. So you're saying this. This is this is it's demographic. It's not a word. This is me asking me really honest. Yo, y'all get excited for wrestlers just dancing? Well, not wrestlers. I, just another. No. It's just a Hispanic. It's not the a Hispanic wrestler. Influence it's on, just like, in, yes, exactly. It's the Hispanic the presence, influence that's what it is. on TV where he's become. It's basically look, look, mamita, look. You want to wrestle, mira? You can wrestle, yeah, but exactly. you can dance too. You say you can do both. Like what? that's. Literally but then again, what it I can't is. say nothing. It's kind of like how that you know, like how the Haitian swear that kept away is, is Haitian. So they be like, kind of, oh, the one, got it, the one, got it, look, 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 be like, the one. I, I, I don't, no, 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 fighting sensation. Something things. No, no, I think you Well, I think you Like, for example, when you watch the television, right? You see a hate perch on television. Why we be like, oh, got it, got it, look, 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 look. Why don't you be like him? This out of there. Yo, you, you get, you get hype. <laughs> You you get hype seeing someone that honestly, you're culturally honestly, related to. Honestly, honestly, we all know who's the favorite one in this one. It's not there, but great thing like he never call her moms. You know, I've been calling you, what's up, boo? Hey, what's up? You never call her. By the way, hi, mom, because she, she, she watched the show, the Actic viewer. Shout out to my mom, my boo, my everything. And you just asked your mom for some money. That's why you sucking up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't ask for money. <laughs> oh, anyways. So, but so you say, so you said overall that it's just some fact that just keep a damn record off. It's kind of like kind of when we see like someone might see, oh yeah, look at him dancing. It's why on TV. It's, it's why you have fucking Jinder Mahal as a champ. It's why you have okay. exactly. you, said, you have the demographic. Who said, uh, it's been white and a sprinkle of black for way too long. See, it has to be more different. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's why you have Shinsuke, Asuka coming up to me. Exactly. You have Kyrie Sane in NXT. So if that's the case, you have... When was the last time they had major, even Asian, like Japanese people before When was the last Asuka time they had a major black person win a major uh, a title? Besides Booker T, exactly. That's nah. Right. Where did you not some book? was terrible. When it was. He was one champion. I didn't feel his reign at the, all. The last time we had a Hispanic champion was fucking Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio after exactly. that. Exactly. Since when after that was... Seth Rollins. 
That nigga don't count. He don't count. He's white. He is. Yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Really? Like, yeah. Kobe Lopez. Yeah. But then again, is he he's full Puerto Rican? He's from like Ohio. Yeah. yeah it, that's why he doesn't really count. Yeah. He's white. Really? Yeah. 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 He's Puerto Rican. Stefan's Puerto Rican. His last name is Lopez, dude. But really? Is it Lopez? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, time out, time out. He's Puerto Rican. I got somebody. I don't count. <laughs> Don't count. His last name is Lopez. Don't count. How does he does not count? count. Well, count. he looks more white than anything. Yeah. He's from Ohio. 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 Honestly speaking, you couldn't he's tell Armenian. by just looking. Skinny Kravitz said he's Armenian. Yo, is double check that. Double check that is money. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's His last name is fucking. But then again, right well, no, well, oh, oh, because Skinny Kravitz says not spent. His stepdad is New Mexican. Him. So what is he? I told you, yeah. his stepdad is Mexican. What it says? Nationality American. It's on no, the internet. Because, American. No, what's his no, background? But... He's considered American. Uh, All of us are. Um, um, oh yeah, no, he is. He is Armenian, German, and Irish. Really? So why the fuck is his name Kobe well, Lopez? Exactly. He's from oh, his stepdad. American stepfather. All right, there you go. You can take oh, that right, away. Right. Take it back. My bad, guys. So I guess you ain't got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got no way. No, 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 no. I got the dude from NXT that lost his title. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. you know, he needs to come up to me. Facts. I mean, he's re- he's really good, actually. Like, I mean, like in terms of know, wrestling, I, I like. He's just really, like, I feel like he really came a long way. Yeah. What do you did. think about um, Matt with Bray Wyatt? I've been called there. I've been called. Who's we good? knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. It's like What's crazy, crazy but crazy. Now, listen, what about Bruno Del Tio? Who? What? The Alberto Del Rio. Nah, he ain't. Nah. Fuck that nigga. Fuck him. After everything he's no, been doing recently. The way he treated my homegirl Paige. He does too much. Like I feel like he does way too much. It's drugs. It's drugs and alcohol, man. Drugs and alcohol. You know what it is? I don't want to out by saying this. Shit, did it impact just fucking drop him too? Because he didn't show it to the vet. No, but he's coming back. I feel like when it comes to like, he's like a, like he's, he will have to fit better in more of the ruthless aggression era and attitude era. Because his style, how he carry himself is more that traditional old school Triple H Time and era. This era now, he doesn't really fit in because like he has such an old school mentality. So that's why I feel like Idol is like, all right. No, he's a piece of shit. That too. too. But that's then it. again, he will fit better in old school era. No, he's still a piece of shit. Old school, new school, fucking. It's just the type dynamic of person school. He is. It's, it's who he is. It's, it's who literally who he is. Who he is. Who he's he a piece is. of shit. Oh well, dang, I try to help Pop him out. Him. No, what do you guys think about Paige's uh, retirement announcements? I ain't gonna lie, I got, I got my feelings. Yeah. yeah, I did too. Yeah, I remember when I saw the episode when she came on and won the fucking title on her debut. I, I was remember like, that. who is this? I was like, I'm in love with her. And but the good thing about it, you know, like, I feel like how she put in that happy, healthy way. So that's good for her. Yeah, you know? yeah. She, looked, she looked like, like because when, when she was on SmackDown, I was like, God. no, I know it's how that when she had a little ad, which is like, hi guys, yeah. this is my movie. The Saturday third, I feel that that's a great role for being SmackDown a GM. Oh yeah, because, or even like a manager for like right. A, like and I feel like else, because like, her charisma got better over the years. It has her like presentation. She's mature. She matured mm-hmm. like. We forget how young she was until that moment like you just said. Exactly. I was 21, like, dude. Yeah, we watched her grow up on television. And now to make her see to a beautiful woman, like, dang, Paige, you've been through all of this. The fact that you recovered from that and the fact that WWE could not, WWE could have kept on TV for months, not giving no duties or nothing like that, kept on paying. The fact that they had that much faith in her, and maybe just because she had a movie coming out. They also could have dropped her after she got injured, too. Yes. They could have, but they didn't. They, they could have, but they didn't. Also, I listened to her on Lillian Garcia's podcast. You just listen to that. A lot of women power on that shit. Um, you all just listen to it, but you especially since you're a woman wrestler. And Paige was on there. And Paige was going through everything into the sex tape situation, all of that. I gotta listen to her podcast then. No, Lillian Garcia's podcast is amazing. She has like, she, she has a way of uh, with people where like she brings out the best stories out of them. Yeah, so like talking to your aunt? Yeah, basically. So Auntie Lily. She's Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um but she was speaking about the sex tape and what she went through. She felt like killing herself. But the fans really helped to get through the fans were like, yo, like we we respect you, you went through a lot, like you know what it is. But at the end of the day, like you guys said, that podcast I listened to it and, and then seeing that I was like, yo being early 20s and being in the spotlight like that 
It's a lot of fucking pressure. It's like we were just talking about this dude. What's Tristan Thompson and shit? Yeah. It's the same shit. A like people, young person being inspired. I think like that. People, people shit on, like, when they see it, like, oh my God, you're fucking stupid. No. You're young. You're young and you got you're, money. You're, you're and young you're young on with national television. Like, Granted, she probably was getting paid like a million dollars a year. That's a lot of fucking money for somebody from like, what's she, is, she, is she from Scotland? What is she from? Is she no, from? she's from the UK. 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 Yeah, right. Let's say Europe. She's, Europe. she's, she's yeah. from some she's middle, middle class, low yeah. middle class part of Europe and comes over here to the US, gets a shit ton of money, which is more money she probably ever had in her life. You're going to act fucking stupid. Never really dated anybody until Albert fucking Del Rio piece of shit out. But then again, no, she was making sex tapes, so. Yeah, but how many girls have to have videotaped themselves? That's it. But my thing, you know what it is? Speaking of that, though, it's just like, my thing is this. Was it, I, I, like, I don't know who leaked it or whatever, but this whole hacking people's phones and stuff like that leaked their personal images, I think that's personally wrong. You know, that's I think, horrible. I think it's horrible terrible. because like how that that's terrible. Do you ruin your person like yeah, you probably could recover from that. Eventually people forget about it, but it's simple fact that a simple Google search of that could come up. Yeah, and, and, but it's one thing that they the WWE has to get better at is teach these girls to do better. 100%. I agree with you. So It's like when you get drafted to the NBA or NFL, they have the coaches to teach you. Like yeah. They have that program to teach you how to do that And I don't think WWE has gotten that, that level yet because Paige, having the Page, JoJo, Charlotte. Am, I'm keeping a buck. Am I mad about seeing these pictures? Absolutely not. But then again, though, you wouldn't like it if it was someone that woman that we like. And, and I know. I understand that. It's one of the things like, oh, she looked good, but then again, looking like... This, this could be my sister. This could yeah, be my girlfriend. Exactly. And you and you you like, oh damn, I like her, but then damn, I should have liked this. Yeah. <laughs> so you feel conflicted. It's like it's But her but seeing her as a GM on SmackDown. I think she's gonna do great. She's gonna do great. She has a great personality. And she's very like stern. She has a very mm-hmm. she's very yeah. strong. Like once she says she something, like she will yeah. step. She's gonna step to the And point. then so how many big dicks we give in on Raw? I say four. Yeah, solid four. Solid yeah, I'm going with y'all too. Solid four big dicks for Raw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up, Lee? So, <clears throat> Matt also said, um, Nadia has some stuff up. Don't get him excited. Stop. No, no. Relax. Relax. Matt Awesome, DM me, please. Wait a minute. Isn't that old stuff when she was a model and recent stuff? Probably old stuff. Yeah, so that don't oh, count. Oh. No, he, he was responding to what you just said. No, but he, he responded. He, he said all big dicks to, to the previous thing you just said. Okay. So how many big dicks you giving on Raw? Three and a half. Hmm? Three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. yeah. I said four. She said four. Four, four, four big dicks from, from us. Oh. Four. Um, Speaking of speaking of um, Paige being, being GM, GM. scroll into SmackDown. Yeah. I think that's a really good idea. Great move. Like I said before, yeah. I, I tweeted it immediately once I saw that. I was mm-hmm. like, great fucking move. That was like amazing. The Usos um, was pretty good. The Usos yeah. was pretty good. Yeah, Usos have been have been phenomenal. They, they've been yeah. amazing. They've been putting on match out their ass. Yeah, that's they why I was kind of disappointed that how that the match at WrestleMania was so like. Yeah, I mean, bah, look, bah, bah, bah. when I watched, I watched the match live, obviously, and then I watched it again. It, it was better. Like I watched it and broke it down, and I was like, it had its spots. It they definitely did have its spots. It was too short, though. It was way too fast, and they you couldn't really enjoy it as much as you could have. Yeah, yeah, they definitely well, the cut it down is, because of the. It was three tag teams in that match. And the Bludgeon Brothers can't go like that. Yeah, no. Okay, but there were three tag teams in the TLC match back in the 2000s. Wait, hold so up. Let's... Hold up. Those are two of you the most that? athletic big people. Exactly. What did they do with the Ooze a couple of years? Two out of three falls match? Come on, Daddy. They can't go like that. They can't go like that because Luke Harper versus Luke Harper, Luke Harper versus Dolph Ziggler for can't. the IC title. But they but can't. They, they, no, they, they can't. Can. He's smoking. They don't have the chemistry. That's why. Yeah, they don't. And that aspect, the, 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 that's okay. They don't have it. But all because, they can no, go. You're, you're looking at it like from a different standpoint. They're you're saying not they, they can go things. physically, they can go. Oh, they, okay. But they can't go okay, chemistry wise. Oh, no, no, no. Because <laughs> you're, it's like being the third wheel and on, on, on a gate. Like the Usos, and the New Day know each other. Like, 
Like the back of each other's hands. When you throw and it something else. And the Usos may not know the Belgian brothers, but at the... No, Usos know the Belgian brothers. The New Age know them. Individually. Yeah. yeah. Individually. 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 So, so they don't know them team. well enough. No, no, no. So, they do not as a team. They forget they fought the two out of three fours now. Not well when enough. With the Wyatt family, but, yeah. But I'm, but I'm talking about on a bigger picture. Now... With the Bludgeon Brothers in this situation now, and having the belt and everything, having the belt, yeah. you extend this. This is why I talk about this, the creative, creative team. All right, new season, we have them inserted into, 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 into the bigger picture. Let's work it out. Let's write it out. Okay, SmackDown, they gotta fix that entire division because outside of them three, who's the second tier? That's true. Well, the shakeup is about to happen. There is no second tier. The shake, but the shake was about to happen, so, so we don't know yet. So I feel like they should put the um, Titus Worldwide is coming to SmackDown. Obviously, they got eliminated from Raw, so an, an, that's, an, another, that's an, another set of jobbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we said that already a while ago. I mean, they should put Luke Harper and uh, Carl Anderson on SmackDown. I forgot to ask, what happens with Ka- Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Oh, 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 that was amazing. Oh, yeah. that was brilliant. Yeah, no, but I mean, what happens afterwards? It's like they both. Lost and you don't get a so contract. Much with that. Yeah, you could. It, it, it was, Are they going to be no floating contest. free agents and showing up on both shows? Because yeah. that's what much. I think they would to do. To really extend it, to really extend it, to make a very good tell, very good story. Fuck with Dana Bryan. They should go on every, um, um, everywhere. They should go two hundred five. Like, come on, let me wrestle, please, please, let me wrestle. And then it'll be Kevin Owens try to cut weight. And after that, be Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn try to cut weight also because they're too big for that Isn't division. That- uh, also a rehash of the give me a job thing I got, I got kids yeah and but this one will be a different because it'll be different because you have two different sets of people that, that know how to work with right. yeah. and on top of that you even go even deeper than that go to NXT you know go to NXT this that and third you see them going back down no just to try to get a job they don't care at this point Okay. You know, you, want, you you want them to look desperate. Yeah, and I they they even go even deeper than that to get some more eyes on their um on their partnership. Go to evolve. See what's up with that. So you know, you know they go to evolve. That put more cameras on that. Say, oh shoot. WWE is filling with Evolve. A lot of people don't know that. Let me check what Evolve has. Well, Everybody a lot of competitors eat. that are going to NXT, they're coming from Evolve. And now put more and eyes on Evolve. There's a lot of uh, indie wrestlers that I know personally that was in New Orleans and a bunch of dark matches and pre-matches on NXT, they were there. See, great You have, Austin, you have Austin Run. Theory. Inside Info! <laughs> See, that's a great way to get everyone to, everyone to eat. You know, everyone eats. And no, you, you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go with t- down to you. I wouldn't do the, that. Part. Part. Stop, Stop at NXT, part. right? Stop at NXT. Stop at NXT. Evolve okay. is just way too down low. And it, it just messes up kayfabe. Because there's no real reason for them yeah. to be down there, honestly yeah. speaking. Okay. But, but creative can get creative with this. Have them outside, like... Just fucking picketing change. or some shit, doing something stupid. Like, they should be at Metro PCS trying to sell phones because that's how they're doing for a job. Think about it, these are all their sponsors. They do a lot of They yeah. go to Metro, they go to KFC. Yeah. Yeah. Cricket, cricket. Oh, yeah, not Metro, cricket, cricket. yeah. They, they, yeah. Can, they can do so Snickers. much. Snickers, you know, they're trying to sell you know, Snickers out. Oh, they could be on a train with the Instead of a summer slam, like, excuse me, excuse me. I'm not here trying to sell, to try to sell um stickers for a basketball team. I'm trying to sell stickers to get to get to keep my kids and my lights on. My name is Kevin Owens. My name is Sammy Zayn. You know what? Showtime. <laughs> Sammy Sammy Zayn like does fucking cartwheels. <laughs> Kevin Owens does a backspin and shit. <laughs> Yo, that would be a great storyline. Yeah. So creative call at us. Call at us. Call at us. Anybody say anything, Leo? Yeah. Um, what do you want exactly to know? <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> We need exactly to know. I mean, Leo, just anything. All right. Um, people said oh, um, I, I'll end up on. Um, no, they'll end up on Raw because Kurt liked the match for Monday. KK wise, oh, obviously, Miz versus Daniels and Mercy Mania match. So that's gonna happen. Raw versus the Ball for the title. Cooler said they go. Um, they're coming from All Witch Two. And um, Black Western Legend says that's not even inside knowledge. Oh, okay. Um, um, he also said Evolve Progress and WWN are low key developing for WWE right now. Right now, that's every that's that's that not even right now. That's been ongoing for, for years, 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 yeah. years. 
years. Like WWN, literally, like there's a team from New York, from FTW, from every indie out here that went down to New Orleans, worked those shows, put in the work. Either they wrestled, their ring crew, their production, it doesn't matter. They were there. Their faces were seen. Their names were heard. That's that's basically what it is. And they had like a um a match with one of those champions. I think um. One of these big dudes, like he fought and he defended his title against somebody for the next. I can't remember who. Can't remember. Listen, Black Wrestling Alliance. Thank you for the info. We appreciate that. Um, how many big dudes you give me SmackDown? Wait, wait, wait. You wait, wait, not even. Come on. No, what son. about Carmella? Thank exactly. You. Carmella. Or oh, like AJ Styles versus my son DB Boy. Exactly. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good match. match. That, was that was a good match. match. That was a good match. You I like forget, that match better than the wrestling. Like you forget. How short AJ is, and when you go against someone who's about his height, how the, the it goes an extra next year, you're like, dang, that was a good match. That was a very good match. That was very was solid. Really but how many big dicks you give me? Wait, Smackdown. Carmella, how you feel about that? How cash it? But how many big dicks you give me? She Smackdown? finally cashed it in. She's gonna. She got to ignore me. It was about fucking time. She yeah, got to, we're we're still talking about it after, after we finish. All right, yeah. tell me how many big dicks you did, then break it down. Break it down. Now. You got another three. Yeah. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. Yeah. So, Carmella Cashin and that was Carmella Cashin was, fu- was fire. It was. Yeah. That yeah. shit was fire. The one thing that annoyed the fuck out of me was the like, rough. Yeah, it's like, motherfucker, you know this is a thing. Just no, cash no, the shit no. in. You want, are you sure? You are sure? you sure? You know, come on, she hurt. Yo, boy. I asked her like 10 fucking times in like 30 seconds. Yeah, she had to ask. But yeah. then again, I like the fact that how. It was the build um, Like, I like the build up after. How the fact that she got him all groggy like this. Yeah. Top of the Dukes up. Great. Charlotte knows how. Great story. Yeah, Not forget. Now, the only version of Natalia. Every time they go match. against each other, really it's amazing. Match. Yeah. It's, you might even, when you are wrestling your friend, you are always yeah, going fun. to yeah. have a great match. Exactly, you know? It's like going and chicken. Let's go together. No? No? No. Uh, nah. That is a brand, right? Yeah, it's a brand. You could have said beans and chicken or whatever. You said beans or rice and chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you could have even throw platanos in there, but uh, you didn't. You fucked up. You sound like an ignorant white person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> colonizer. Cor- correction. Colonizer. Colonizer. You sound like a real colonizer. Yeah. Um, Carmelo Cashin was great. I'm a little annoyed that Randy won. Uh, I'm super annoyed yeah. he won. Yeah. I Bruce, love Randy. Rusev but... should have won that shit. Oh, y'all do forget that Nakamura promo in the back. Oh, that Nakamura. was classic. Why you did that for? I don't speak English. Yeah, at the end he was like, <laughs> no I English. Mean, like, he always sound like, hey, he, he tried to sleep with somebody, but. <laughs> no, it was funny because like when she asked him, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was in the emotions. And he <laughs> winked mad hard. She was just like, you're being disingenuous. <laughs> so that's why he was like, Sorry, no English. I and I feel like, that works for him because that makes him a good heel. Yeah, he does. He's actually yeah. doing a great job. I think he he's is. better. He's better. It's at only, it was only, what, day three as a heel? That's but then, but it, it was good. I feel so like, far. can we enjoy this? Yeah. Yeah, but like, still. Because the thing is, they you can't just say he's great after three days. But the thing he's is, not great. They he's, haven't been doing much with yeah, him besides that. So to see them doing something with him, even. If it's just three days in, just that little segment, whether it was a minute or five minutes long, just that tidbit is enough to make it great because of the fact that he, he really didn't do shit. Yeah, yeah. it's where You can tell that it shit a little bit because my son gave him a low bro like a thousand one times. Yeah. You can tell that he is a better as a, like not a white hot baby face, but like a gray hot baby face. The thing was, they never he anti-hero. They never made him a white hot baby face to begin with. They like tried to. Said, they, no, they didn't. Work it. You couldn't work at it. You're right. I think that they didn't. They didn't try to be quite honest. Well, the thing is, you can't make him a baby because you can't speak English. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar has a streak, and she has, well, and she, she has, has like, and after I feel like she works. Okay, but why was he so such a beast and so loved in NXT? Could you ever talk that much in NXT? You don't. You don't. No. But still. And then he had fucking the, the illest fucking intro ever. Yeah. It is. It's Pair him with off. somebody that could talk, and that's it. Have an advocate or no, something. Nah, he had somebody that walked out with a oh, body and that shit's happening. I feel like him <laughs> as this. I see why people like him in New Japan. Because New Japan, like, he was like that. He had, like, a He's swag. He's a king of strong style. Yeah, he, and he also sw- is charismatic through his movements. And it's also, at, Japan is about the in ring ability. You're right. It's always been about the in ring ability. So sure. I'm, I don't really give a fuck if you can talk on the mic. Yeah. Because you can put on a fucking show. But I think that this him being in here will expand, like, will like, exp- like expand his character. Because, and it'll give him more time yeah. to get used to And you never know. He might throw punches as a heel. 
show you them. Are they talking? Yeah, Kravitz said he's been heel in New Japan. Yeah, he has. And he could pull it off. Yeah. All right, cool. cool. Thank you, Kravitz. Anything else? Yeah. Musa should have won. Yeah. And she cashed in and capitated. Incapacitated. 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 Yeah, we're going on. <laughs> okay, so everybody gives uh, SmackDown more for three and a half. Mixed MJ style. What? Throw that shit out. Freddie Mercury makes Michael Jackson style. His, his suit they came in the ring with. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we know that how he got inspiration from um, Freddie and Michael. That's kind of old news. Who said that? Is that, that a is bottle opener? Zay Zay yeah. 98. Amazing. Yeah, it's kind of okay. old news. I want it. That's the Bad Beyond <laughs> single. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move on. So everyone gave SmackDown three point five. Yeah. yeah. Was it okay? So I was to say no. Oh, <laughs> dream matches Ooh. that never happened. I've been thinking about this all day, oh, so I want to go last. No, oh, I want to go last. I've been first, thinking about you know, all day. I go first. My boy Quazy put me onto this match. He gave me a great idea. I'm going to add my sauce to it. So he said this. It's like a long build up, right? Sting comes to WWE. Sting, I'm going to take a, a going at it. It's that a third. You know, you know, um, the ministry, the darkness, whatever, and the guy who perfects the, the shadows, Sting. Of course, go on this, that, a third. They have a triple threat match. You know, Bray comes in, father story, Bray comes in. He said that, I am the new face of fear. I am the face of the darkness. While Sting got the crow, this guy is symbolized of just taking over the E as death. So he has the vulture, the fatal um, um, triple threat match. Sting, Undertaker, Bray. Bray wins, and he's just, Yes, over as that to defeat two iconic icons in the business. Then he really has the whole world in his hands. The worlds of darkness, the worlds of the shadows. Bray is in his hand. He cut that promo, but instead of cutting it after elimination, he cut it after WrestleMania on that sm on that raw. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that I was kind of cool. With that. I just had my sauce, the the the, 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 the Goya. <laughs> So, mine's <laughs> is um, Razor Ramon versus CM Punk. Ooh. So, like, uh, 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 a drug lord and a straight, uh, a straight edge? What storyline? There's no storyline. Come on, man! You've been slacking your storylines, B. It's a good match. I'm gonna put on storylines, so this is what happened, you know? No, no, no. No, 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 no don't do that. Leave it, leave it, leave, leave, leave it how it, it is. Your, your dream match? Eddie Guerrero, Daniel Bryan. I like that. Solid, yeah. solid, solid. Yeah, solid. So, like I said, I've been thinking about mine all day. And Nia Jax. Sexy. Versus me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the storyline? Oh, I don't know who Wilkins would choose, his sister or his booski. I'm having two Nia, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> that hurts, that hurts. That I got when she said Nia Jax, I was like, who? And me. No, no, no. No, no, no. I honestly, uh, Nia Jax and uh, Lita. That would be a good match. That would be good. Yeah. That would be a good match. All right. Um, the Zavis, Zave, Zave985 said Stalin versus Joe and WWE pay per view. That really happened. It's a dream match. I said WWE pay per view. Yeah. Um, Matt Awesome said Owen Hart versus Seth Rollins in IC Championship. And. Black, Black Lion said Finn versus Styles. So that's gonna happen eventually. Finn versus Styles? That happened already. Yeah. That happened in New Japan too. Yeah. That happened on pay-per-view. Yeah. Like everybody TLC. Which one yeah, was that? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Was it TLC? He, he flew up from fucking, yeah. from thingy. Oh, and I Hate Ish said Team Extreme versus Usos and Naomi in a ladder match. Mm. That would, that would work. That would work. Okay. All right, guys, we got the interactive part with the jobber. The Jabba Squad. Who's reading it? Ooh. So interactive. Beth Phoenix has completed at WrestleMania more than competed at, at WrestleMania at more than any female. True or false? True or false. Do, 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 do. Oh, Beth Phoenix has completed at WrestleMania more than any female superstar. I'm going with true. I'm going with false. Mm. I'm going with false. I'll go with false. 
I'm true. It's true. true. I go with true. What did they say? Lala's world said false. Um, Zay Ish Isaiah Isaiah said false. Black Black Investment Alliance said false. My Awesome said false. Zay nine eighty five said true. And Black Black Investment Alliance said Natalia and Matt Awesome said trust. I think, yeah, I think Natalia has Trish. more. Yeah, I think it's more. So what's the Natalia answer? or Trish has more? Yeah, we should put the answer on here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So we have, we have these guys. <laughs> All right. Next question. Next question. The WWE Championship has changed hands 20 times at WrestleMania. True or false? Mm. I'm saying false. I'm saying no, false. 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 <sighs> I said false. Yeah. Anybody? No, no answer. Black Lion said no answer. Trish was like four. I was like four. True. Man, Awesome said true. Mm hmm. For what? Um, Zane, 985 said false, Lala's word said true. Okay. Run DMC was the first music group to perform at WrestleMania. No, that's false. That's, that's false. false. Yeah. All right, that's false. Is what my advice said. Not yet. Wasn't it um, this dude, um, the guitarist is playing, Alice Cooper? Wasn't it Alice Cooper at WrestleMania 3? I don't remember. I could have sworn it was. Mm, I don't know about this one. Macho Man Randy Savage holds a record. I, I am Bulldog. I am Bulldog. WB1 said false. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we say false. Too. Okay. Macho Man Randy <laughs> Savage holds a record for, for competing the most matches in one night. That, I don't know. That is true. Good to know. So, we'll find out the answer soon. That Phoenix is correct. That Phoenix oh, is correct. Oh, that's right. Okay. Told you. Natalia only has two. That Phoenix has uh, three. Wow. I knew really it was something low, like low, low, low. I thought it would have been China. But then again, I forget that she didn't compete in a lot of WrestleMania. She's she always there. Yeah, she yeah, was there. She didn't compete. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, final segment. What does WrestleMania mean to you? What means the world to you? Diamond thing, shining thing. Um, wrestling to me means the Super Bowl of wrestling. Yeah. It is a Super Bowl. It means the wrap up. It means the end. Of, it means the end of a major chapter. It means the end of the storyline. Yeah, the end of chapter I three, mean, four has ended. Uh, you can keep going with certain storylines. Obviously, they're gonna keep so certain, certain you know, storylines going. But, it, but I agree with you. For the most part, it's that's it's the end Wrestle of the season. WrestleMania is like look at it as a calendar year, right? So basically, it's like a wrestle, physical year. Yeah, almost. it's like a yeah. physical year. So it's like that physical year is ended, and then anything after that is starting, Reset, is yeah. resetting, mm -hmm. is starting new. So I see it as, you know, more opportunities. Um, it's setting the bar higher to keep, you know, the universe intact and tuned to what's going on, tuning into Raw. Uh, getting the you know signing up for the network actually utilizing the network and not just paying for it and not watching it but drawing viewers I in I don't pay for it he pays for it I use his thanks my sister uses mine I have like four friends that Google use too. mine <laughs> huh? I don't use your Hulu I don't really use Hulu I've been the man at the house you see he got money he always got money, you know. My friend's girlfriend got a lot of money, you know. A lot of money. A lot of money. What are you talking about? We're broke. Y'all have cable. I can't afford cable. That's <laughs> my thing. You have Wi Fi. No. That's just as good. That's just, just as good. <laughs> that's just as good. What are you talking about? Yeah, that pretty much is cable yeah. nowadays. How much people have Wi Fi? Huh? Because it's free now. How do they have phones though? Yeah, how do they because get government, phones? Um, because government, because government giving out like because of the Obama phone, they are giving out for free. Like if you have Medicaid and um, food stamps, either one, one. How do you have Medicaid and food stamps if, if you don't homeless. have anywhere to live? You can't really. How do you? How do you? Why do y'all that? How you do that? I mean, like, I mean, because I mean, this is off the subject. I mean, personally. All right, yeah. final segment. Final segment. Um. You just made the list. Who made the list for you? Who made the list for me? Yeah, who made Wilkins. The list for me? Who made the list for you? In a bad way or a good way? A bad way. Like In a bad Jericho way? way? Yeah. Yeah. Like Jericho. Uh, you, you, you're the guess who, who made the list for you? Uh, Roman Reigns for not winning it at WrestleMania. Really? Yeah. Kind of. 
Vince, he probably should have. Or Vince, technically, for not pulling the trigger and letting him actually fucking win the shit when he should have. I ain't got a problem. When I saw Roman Rain match and Brock leaked him and his face was crimson yeah. red. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like. I was like, oh my gosh, he's about to go Hogan around and hold out. Yeah. And then when he then lost, he I was just like. It. He had a bloody face. That would have been great. Yeah, it would have been a way, way to. It would have been a great way to do it. Like, he got up super charged. I did the two spears and everything. I was like, okay, this works for me. And yeah. then when and he, he did the F5, yeah. I was just like, yeah. everybody just looked at each other like, wait, what? Yeah, but that was a great, great visual. Him yeah. with, the, with the bloody face, the fidelity, like the... F- Confetti. Confetti. Just to see that... Is all? Yeah. Just to see that visual of him bleeding with the title up, that was a great, 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 great visual. But... I don't know. Um, I don't know. Like, the, do w- the WWE has been steering away from the whole blood. Um, right. They've been clear for years. For because, years. Because like, they were in the um, because they didn't know they was really strict with the rules. Though, they too. were super strict. Because apparently, like even a Ring of Honor, Bully Ray made a um, made a comment saying that like. There was something that happened, and he had cheeseburger like about to. Pop. He was like, "I will pile drive the shit out of him and stop this show right now." Like, because you know that Louisiana doesn't want us to do this. Like, you can't. Apparently, the pile driver was outlawed. Like, you couldn't do certain moves, and that was one of them. So, like, they had certain regulations, and blood was probably one of them. And that's probably what happened. So, what between. if? Hear me out. What if Vince said something to Brock? about making Roman bleed. Mm. And that is how the whole altercation started. Highly possible. It's highly possible, and then Brock being- Because the whole thing with Randy Orton that happened two years ago when he made him bleed, and Chris Jericho thought it was a fucking, it, it was real, and so, Chris Jericho got You're right, but my face. thing is this. Does he really make people bleed, or is like a blood pack? No, he cut him. Like, he, no, he, you see the cut. He, the thing it, about he started it, bleeding immediately. What the problem is, Brock is lazy now. Brock is really lazy in the ring, and he has Jordan rules now. And what I mean by Jordan rules is that- love the game. He, no, is that he gets away with everything because he's a star player. And he's their highest paid wrestler, and he can do what the fuck you want to do. He gets away with shit. It's wrong. It's wrong, but it is what it is. But then again, it was and the same way with- with Randy when he got busted for um, I think pot or something like that, it made no big deal about it. No, he, he got suspended. Yeah, he did get suspended. Yeah, he, he actually got legit suspended, and he just fucking stopped. But the pot shit was because he was self medicating himself, and WWE doesn't do the best with that. With what I've heard, but Brock is sloppy in the fucking ring. He's terrible. I don't give a fuck. He's terrible. He's not as good. Like, I, I feel like, again, the only time I feel like I got excited for this match was him versus AJ. Because AJ put him over. That's why. Yeah. They did put him Brock over. Don't do, Brock don't give a fuck. Yo, AJ could literally wrestle a blow up doll and make it look fucking amazing. I mean, Kenny Omega blew up. Same wrestle. thing. Yes. Yeah. And that's, and that's the problem with Brock, and I think that the fans are catching up to a point where, like, yo, this we're is tired boring. Of we're shit. done. It's tired of it. It's annoying. Like, the first couple are like, oh shit, F5. Suplex, this is awesome. Now it's like, yo, bro. Suplex Another City one. is old. This is it's old. That's all you do. It's old. Yeah, like yeah. I remember. Um, I remember my old school Brock. When I thought that when you fought AJ, you bring back lines old school, like the Brock lock. I was going to pick him up like this. Imagine that visual. Him just like, oh, and AJ Styles just freaking out. Something got out of it. Visual, tell a story in the ring, but like everyone's saying, he's lazy. He's like lazy. He's, he's not excited no more. And I feel that like John Cena has five moves, but at least he has five moves. Brock Lesnar has like two. Well, you have to understand, you know, John Cena has five moves, but and, he knows how to, and he knows how to spread it yeah, out. Yeah, he does. And he put. I realized this is like this is why I respect them. I didn't like Johnson before. I thought that he was too much. I felt that I respected him with the U.S. Open and how he sprinkled new moves into well, the game. The thing is, John Cena had to. Yeah, yeah. John Cena said, mentioned on a podcast. He's like, "Yo, all these guys wrestle better than me now. Like, really know how to wrestle. So, you, so any great player will elevate their game to 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 um." Adapt. So it's kind of like when, um, hmm, correct me if I'm wrong, let's do a, a basketball um, reference. Kind of like when um, um, Michael Jordan was Kevin getting beaten by the Pistons. And no, it's not, Michael, uh, Michael, Michael, no, that doesn't count. Because Michael Jordan getting beaten by the Pistons. Oh, no, 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 no. Pistons no, no, no. Oh. no, no, no. Matter of fact, even though that, 
Kobe was on top of this game, he still had weapons to the repertoire. He earned like little post move, back to the basket, little passes. It's not, it's not, it's not that. It's just the fact that it's a new age. And I feel like kind of that John Cena is never is always on a quest to get better. The fact that he got better. He had to get better. He, he had, had no choice. He had no choice. That's no the thing. Whatsoever. It was either get better or, or get we're gonna left, move on behind. left behind. That's it. And even though he's a golden, he's a golden boy, Vince ain't stupid. He works. That's why I respect him. Yeah, and but Brock is not working. But Brock doesn't have to work. That's the thing. This man makes so much money, and he appears like f- five times a year. Like he doesn't have to do anything. He really doesn't. So. My job of the my way to listen this week goes to Brock because of like the subpar wow. work he's been doing. He, he did this season, and wow. okay, he okay. has yet to put on a show and be part of a match. Okay, so that's your job of the week. What's yours? Oh, you made a list of the week. Oh, you made a list. Yeah. All right, who made your list? Brock made my list too. Dang, okay. I have, I'm I'm tired of seeing him. But I'm, I'm not tired. a Brock fan. Brock made the list for basically everybody in the chat. Everybody. Hey, Brock. Everybody the Brock, chat made the list. Brock made the Brock. list. So, and I'm a Brock fan. Like, I love I'm a Brock, Brock fan, but I'm, I'm tired. I'm, it's it's more Vince for me than, yeah, than Brock, yeah. but like... That's the case. It's, yeah, if, yeah, if it's not Vince, it's Brock. Well, I'll take the Roman away because he should have been the, put uh, over a while ago. I mean, my list is story time with Mr. Black. So I'm gonna train, I'm gonna train come over here. This, that. You know those guys who has those random items like a tissue and a piece of paper that says, oh, I'm blind, blah, blah, blah. If you're blind, why you give out that stuff? God, idiot. I'm deaf, this, that, and third. It varies like I need money for my kids mm-hmm. and I'm deaf, whatever. So I'm reading it, whatever. And then this guy stands back, look at everybody, and you'll pass by everybody. You don't give him money, he grills you like, Psh. I'm like, are you serious? Every person he grills, I'm looking at him like, yo, boy, the post office hiring. We got plenty of deaf people who can't hear. Come to the post office, son. Like, you keep him that? I can't tell him because he can't hear. Why well, you didn't write <laughs> it on your phone and show him? I'd have wrote it on the card. Hey, you belong on the list. <laughs> oh, for not helping. For not helping. You fucked up. You, you fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Damn. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that guy made the list, or who? We both made a list. Okay. Because I made a list for not telling him. I should be more informative by writing it down. And he made a list for getting angry because people don't want to give you free money. So we both made a list. Should have you know? suplexed them. Yeah, that'd be mad aggressive, though. You know, a big like a like a big black guy being on the guy. Like kind of like yes, yes size. You know. You could have still done it. I can't beat up like a fellow. You know. I can't, man. I can't. Mm. If it was a colonizer, maybe. You know, I feel good because they be gentrified Brooklyn all over the place. Like, once you see a Starbucks, you know it's a wrap. Yeah. It's happening in the Bronx, too, bro. You look at it. Yeah. Dang, it one, Starbucks, though. man. Well. And Florida. Yeah. It sucks how, how like, um, that's really taking over, though. I don't like Starbucks. It's too expensive. Yeah, it's trash coffee sometimes. Well, and he's just saying just casual. It's four dollars. Four dollars. Hi, guys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, literally. It's 350 also, like a metro card, in the way. Okay. Metro cards are 350. 275. Three, three quarters two, away. Two quarters away. Three quarters and two quarters and one quarter makes a difference. Alright, we, we one quarter away, away from all going home. So, <laughs> thanks everyone for joining us tonight. We do have a special announcement. The Jabba Tears will be sponsoring Battle, uh, Battle Club Pro for their May 26th show called May the Queen Reign. It's an all-female wrestling show. It's in Ridgefield, New Jersey. Um, go to battleclubpro.com to get more information and tickets. Um, and thanks. Um, and when will you plug? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um First about Battle Club. Battle Club is actually pretty cool. Me and Cooler actually went to a Battle Club um, Are you coming show. Um, it's in Jersey. We'll pro- definitely try to make it for sure. We were actually thinking about it on our way back. We saw flyers on, yeah, on Instagram and shit. Okay. So yeah, I mean, we could probably definitely show up for that um, for sure. Um, also, if you guys want to listen, I pokes in the head chokes on SoundCloud, iTunes, um, Google Play, and Stitcher. Um, we usually record on Thursdays. The episodes is up are up by like Thursday nights. Um, if you want to hit us up on Instagram, we're on Instagram as well uh, as Poke Chokes. Twitter at on Twitter at um, Pokes and Chokes. And um, yeah, thanks for having me on. Got a plus? Uh, April twentieth, Creator Die in the Bronx 
at Zorro's Extreme Fitness. Bell time is at 9. Uh, it's at 1123 Close Ave in the Bronx. It's by the Six Line. Uh, check out uh, my Instagram, Silver Queen Ivy, for more details. Um, before we, I guess before you sign, I'd like to thank everybody who checked up on me after watching last week's episode, who made sure I was okay. I'm doing way better. My depression is doing okay. Thanks for everybody. Y'all can run MVP. Thank you for checking up on me. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to everybody who's there at Legends who chill out with us. Lala, um, Joe, all of y'all. Y'all are some great people. Thank you. And yo, this is why we love y'all, man. Y'all the best friends we ever had, man. We have some new shows coming out soon um, on the, the YouTube page. Please check it out. We have a lot of new new, new products going to start coming out. Merch. Um, big dick status t-shirts coming Ooh, soon yoga flames yoga t-shirts, flames. t-shirts coming soon but we we're working thank you for the support and the love hit us up on Facebook like us on Facebook subscribe us on our, on our YouTube page hit up on our Instagram all job of Twitter, all, Twitter, of the, all that shit follow us individually come on all right. Just Google. You'll Google. find you'll find thank you so much. and us. Thank you for coming. Thank, thank, you. thank you for tuning in. Thank you, you guys are the best. Like literally as you guys are doing the last bit, it was. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah. They got the majority of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. May 26th come out. Also for her show as well. Check out the 420, uh, the Bronx eye pokes and head chokes so eye pokes Sound and head chokes exactly, we also got yo. shit on Redbubble as well so exactly you let know, us you know. can come there to the show smack cause it's 420 smack go in there enjoy some wrestling smack that's it smack city baby alright